it's good to be back so let's get going shall we well i'm quite happy to go today guys because after all i already i really wanted to cast this two versus two games and here we are this is the two versus two event i think it was played around the mid february i mean this is the amount how much time that i have unfortunately but anyway let's get going so right now we are on the map for warfare which i think one of the best maps in the yuriko game and on the top left we have the green other playing as green empire unfortunately with being ally that is going with a quick crusher crane start this is ski 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 uh, ski 571 and well let's move forward this is one of the familiar faces this is orange empire alvin tay and his ally finally on the bottom left this is you know playing as a red allies so let's see how the things are going to happen in this game we can easily say i mean with the crusher crane star this can be a little bit interesting because after all this is not the very conventional build after all in this map the main i mean this is imperative place this airport is very vital and important for any kind of player the big building neutral one get the get it with engineer and have some free repairs on your air units now, speaking of air units, Yuno really wants to have some own space here and wants to cut block out of all any kind of ground units. On the meantime, we see some early skirmish attempts coming from the green alert with this <laughs> very nice <laughs> blocking here, but that's going to be short lived for real. I mean, two tank buses already taking down the wall. So that's a bit, let's say, ineffective. Burst drone of the Alvente scouting what is key 571 is up to and well he get the information that he really wanted to. On the meantime we get to see sudden transport coming from the green alert and I really like this move getting a flat cannon very red night I don't know I can't speak exit point of the uh, Mecca Bay of the green alert this will be very helpful for his team. After all there is allies here allies means airfield and airfield means Apollos. So let's see. Oh, we have a sudden transport here as well, but I think these conscripts of the skate already noticed it. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> well, that, that attempt was completely shut down swiftly thanks to Green Alert. And, well, this is what it takes for, like, a team game. After all, for example, as you can see here, the flat cannon is being built by a ski to his teammate Green Alert. And Green Alert is actually stopping this <laughs> tank, tank buster attack. Thanks to his ally. On the meantime, as you can see, Apollos can't really hover around, but uh, if he can't do it, Apollos, he can surely do with some peacekeepers. And oil deck of the green alert has been deleted already. On the meantime, Alvin is now resetting his own economy by taking down the burst drone, which is nice. And airfield has been captured by the Alvin, so that's actually very good for them. And well, getting airfield, I think an investment is going to be done here. But this place is only guarded with five peacekeepers, so that's a bit questionable. On the meantime, you know, is getting for the third refinery, and I mean, oh, that's actually very neat. I mean, Ski is now getting his fourth and fifth refinery. On the meantime, oh, that's a bit hefty. That's actually a nice. Green Alert is also expanding over this side, but the refiners are being built by Neskis 571. So maybe I'll leave one or some for your ally, you know? Because, I mean, oh, okay. So finally, Tank Master's. Oh, and this is the real lead Tank like Master Surprise. I would come to think of it. And now the Collector is down, and Refinery is already half HP. This Southern Transport could actually move around here to block the construction permit. But from the looks of it, uh, well, this is the bug alert perhaps, but anyway, the refinery is down, a heavy damage, and this <laughs> warrior dies in shame. And, well, I think Alvin is now one and a half refinery economy, having it. Like, oil derrick at only one refinery, nothing else but getting a dojo course, so very nice for him, actually. Because after all, he still needs to clear this garrison, and this garrison actually did the most of the job for him. I mean, for the green others. Uh, whoa, okay, battle lab. That's nice, considering that you have access to, like, how many? Two, three, four, five, and six refineries. That's actually nice. 
I agree now that should be at least more careful then because after all he is not having the economical advantage or like especially against Yuno perhaps so the moment that he loses the Tengus he will be very bound to his teammate but doesn't really matter he's engaging on the polos and realizing that that will be a suicide and now he is on the land mode so these well, that's actually a very good way to use your units. And oh, and the airfield is also under attack. And well, this section is not being destroyed in any way by the Uno. So now Tengus are trying to get a very good vantage point to take down this oil derrick. A very long lived oil derrick, perhaps. No cash bounty coming from the green other. So that's actually. Maybe a waste, I'm unsure. But now Tank Busters have ejected. So these. Okay, these. The wall has been destroyed, so this refinery is actually exposed. If Tengus can only get into a good vantage point, this will uh, maybe not get those tank busters. Very good coming from the Uno, quickly sniping the tank busters that were dealing heavy damage. Speaking of the damage, now Alvin is using his own resources to deal damage to the green alert, but well. As you can always get some Apollos hovering around your Tengus. Now, these are the MiGs hovering around your Tengus. And you have just recently got an economy reset. So, losing your Tengus for this, uh, I'm not sure. After all, you only got one ref one collector. All right, Seaport is on. You know, is now trying to respond to this <laughs> expansion. But, I mean, we have a Dreadnought already. So... Our poor Dolphin. Is this the amount of damage that Dolphin receives? Oh, that's a lot of Apollo, so better go back for real. Back to safety to the fat cannons. Alvin is now trying to expand, but... Well, <laughs> has been spotted by the Green Alert. And where are the Tengus? Right, Tengus are around... This Skiff 571's base, but... I mean, this guy... Perhaps not the one that you should be attacking for real. I mean, Green Alert should be your target. Speaking of target, I mean, do not engage on here. That's not going to work it. Oh, no, Alvin. Alvin loses the collector immediately. He is severely underhanded when it comes to economy in this game. But thanks to this investment, he still has the airport. That's actually more than worth of anything. Singrays are now trying to respond this Dolphin and Hydrofoil combo. MCV is now on the retreat. Uh, well, that's... I think you will definitely need an Akula, but I don't think... After when some, so many dolphins are attacking you, that's not going to happen. Even the exit point is suffering from the splash damage, so Stingray is coming right up with all of them on half HP. No way! And now Alvin losing more Tengu, not really best profitable engagement he could do after he <laughs> losing another refinery. And now he is investing on some sea defense with Yaris, which is not that bad. On the meantime, Yuno is now moving the Apollos in the base of the skip 571. Four MiGs are engaging with Apollo, but they have repairs. These are Apollos. What are you doing? Do not lose your MiGs. Oh, no. Right, well, all of the MiGs go down one by one, just like flies would do. On the meantime, we see a red blob of Yuno's naval units. They want to engage and get into it, but these two Hydro Force actually doing the God's work. What are these Dolphins doing, by the way? Did they jump back or like that was a knockback or anything like that? But anyway, now they're targeting the new naval yard. Also, cryo shot has been used on reactor, but is that the best way to use them? I don't know. I mean, you can always sell this. On the meantime, well, these two hydrofoils are doing the god's work for the Uno you know, for real. On the meantime, we see green alert is. Just taking down this airport, realizing that as long as they have this airport, this is going to be difficult. On the meantime, also Green Alert wants to join in the Navy fight, and now he wants to direct the attention of the Uno to his own Imperial docks. This Javelin is actually having a very good vantage point over here and try to take pot, deal some pot damage to this Tengu, but well, <laughs> he easily just moves it back. Thanks to Dry Dogs, by the way. I mean, we have so much neutral buildings here that do lots of repairs. And, well, we only have garage missing, I suppose. But nevertheless, what is this wall formation, by the way? Anyway, now these VXs are actually doing some good stuff with against the Polos, but, well, so many dolphins out there, so that still to be a trouble for Apollos. And now 
chasing over the mix, but they will not going to engage. That will be the wisest thing. And the reactor is now being built to preserve the building radius. Assault destroyer uh, against Stingrays uses the black hole armor, but that's not going to be effective by any means necessary. Ultra torpedoes out of nowhere. And <laughs> Assault destroyer just takes it like, give it to me. No problem. Alan finally gets his expansion, so hooray for him, third refinery, but now in return he loses his oil lyrics and no more auto income, and there's a Yari here, but I don't think he can do a lot of things considering the range of this test, because only can go for suicide run. Now, uh, this stomach tank wants to get into contact, but well, that's not going to happen anytime soon. And a big blob of Empire battle is going to happen, and well, Dojo Core is being deployed, so that's nice. But <laughs> Green Alice says, okay, I don't care, I just want to go in, find some heat reactions, which is nice, and I think he will directly on. <laughs> is he going to make it? Is it? Uh, oh, he's <laughs> Well, Paul Arvin, you got, you got underhanded again. Anyway, aircraft carrier now on the field, but now a bit misuse of the assault destroyed, sucking all of the damage that can be avoided one by one. And this aircraft carrier is attacking this garrison, probably filled with <laughs> like conscript perhaps. But now health them out of Vukalosa. That is nice, but we have four aircraft carriers. This is more than enough to destroy the sea expansion base. Even perhaps more than enough to destroy all of these outlying bases as well, if it's not helped. On the meantime, the only issue here. Okay, Yuna has lost his refinery one point in this game and not building it, I believe. Now, two of Kudos, one of them is already starring, so that's actually great. The only issue is they submerge really quickly, so aircraft carriers can't do anything. On the meantime, this aircraft carrier is now completely unguarded with the assault destroyer and takes the L immediately. Anti air support has arrived as well. I mean, a handful of tangos. I mean, that's six. But wait, where are the polos? I think I missed them one way. Now VX takes the L and the second VX is going to take the L as well. Now Megs have arrived and also Tengus have arrived as well. So that's actually nice. Now this Assault Destroyer is sucking more damage than any anyone can think of. And the power move has been done by the Ski 571. Where is the Iron Curtain? Okay, there is the Iron Curtain here. But I don't think... Is he going to use on what? So in on Akulas, Hydrofoil takes the L as long as it's just <laughs> immediately. Can you see the mantle health is being repaired by the dry docks? That's that's insane. I mean already half HP in like a couple of seconds, I don't have what to say. Dreadnought is now being <laughs> like it's just being like, apprehended by three tangos, and I don't know why. Okay, this is also stuck on top of it. I don't know why it's not attacking, but now Oculus came to rescue and let it go. Fine. Uh, Green Alert is just showing how to play Empire to <laughs> Alvin Tay because I mean, this is how you play Empire. Just hit and run, hit and run, hit and run. That would be all. And Tsunami Tank is just dying out of the boredom. Now, Aircraft Carry is now sending some attack drones to this naval yard, which is nice. Dreadnought is idle, so not the best to use way. On the meantime, MiGs are now also positioned over here, but I don't see any kind of like massive air force like you know had in a couple minutes before. But here we see some stuff. <laughs> and even Akula joining the fray over here. So I think situation is very grim for the Alvente, and you know it cannot build his own refinery. Well, okay. So Yuna has stepped out. Normally I would like to cast this until the very end, but guys, unfortunately, this replay crashes a lot. And it annoys me an incredible amount of manner. I mean, there's no way to explain it. So let me explain. In Render 3, we get to see multiple ways of crashing the most basic one is uh the g game just shuts down and you get your desktop and uh, all you need to do is a relaunch the Reddit 3. if you think that is annoying well hear me out the other type of crash which this replay causes it no matter how many times um how to explain your computer becomes unresponsive you hear the Reddit 3 soundtrack is playing on or whatever else you whichever map you're playing on it and i mean you can get the desktop but the screen of the Reddit 3 game 
is just plastered over your face. And all you can do is restarting. And I don't, I don't really do want to do that because this is, a, by the way, that replays my second time. I just watched it a bit. And, <laughs> well, when it happened, I, I got very furious. <laughs> no way to explain it that. But anyway, about the game, uh, Alvin Tay plays a little bit more, a couple of minutes, and then he taps out as well. So GG for the ski 571 and green alert. That was a very good way to demonstrate how uh, team games should be. But anyway, let's get into our second game. So right now we are on Island Nublar or Island Nub Noblar? Nublar? Nublar. Anyway, this is Ski 571. So on a very small map like this, he is of course started with the barracks, following with the green other, not playing as a Soviet Green Empire. On the meantime, on the left, we have Alvente switching to yellow color instead of orange and the consistency coming from the Uno playing as a red allies. So let's see how is it going to happen this map. Since the distance is incredibly short between players and there are so many garrisons out there, for most of the time going for the infantry is one of the answers. Even maybe two or three barracks. I have seen some games Demon making lots of infantry and bully the players around until one of them uses a cryo gather to freeze all of the infantry. This dog <laughs> dies in shame, missing the bark radius, and engineer successfully captures the oil derrick. So, incredibly enough, the first oil derrick captured by the Uno and then Skip 571 and Almonte, and the lastly is it going to be Green Alert, I suppose. But there's also a hospital, which I believe we're going to see some way to use it. So this is going to be an infantry game. If you're playing as an empire, this is going to be a sudden transport game. As you can see, Mecha Bay is already being soon to be deployed. And burst drone on the Dojo Core. Very nice move coming from the Alvente. Preventing the deploying it. The issue is, as long as your ally is not allies uh, this means that you can't deploy multi-gunner threat uh, maybe going for sneaky dojo or early game doesn't really make any sense also there's a garage on the map so hospital is being captured but how about the garage i mean this is also a very important neutral building to be captured as well but now after all i mean you can't expect green alert to spend so much cash on the map as well so conscript is going to check it around to see this dog is guarding this garage from the pesky engineer of the skip 571 so we will see to it on the meantime okay so mirror game once again so southern transport coming from both of the players i believe so or was it a feint or anything like that we see tengus actually not southern transport i saw some tank busters but they are nowhere to be found now. Apollo is now scouring on the skies, trying to find some valuable information that could be given to his ally, considering that... <laughs> All right, this was the <laughs> this was green alerts. Uh, so that's actually nice. Very nice. I mean, even though infantry has been... Oh, wait a second. This sudden transport is going to be sniped. Okay, it's not going to be sniped. But uh, how was this animation played? Like, even when you get a... Oh. Now, shutdown happens to the green alert this time. Now, advantage goes to the Alvin Tay, and Alvin is not directly going to the base of the green alert. But now, he's going to meet with some Tengus on the meantime, and, well, meeting is going to happen. Tank Buster have ejected, but, well, this is green alert, actually, so you can't really snipe some units that easily, especially when there are no Apollos around. I mean, there are Apollos, but they're not over here. So, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Harassment run coming by... <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Coming by the green alert, but, well, ineffective. Now, <laughs> oil derrick trade is being done. If you're going to take my old rig, I will take your oil, your own oil derrick. On the meantime, severely bad use of the cash bounty. If Ski had it done, two oil derricks has been taken in this game, but <laughs> no use of cash bounty. I wonder if he has it. So, MCV joined on the front line, and, ooh, that's sick move, I have to confess. Creating a blockade. And Terradon also arrived. Is it going to be short-lived? No, it's not going to be short-lived. And somehow this game treats... Since it treats uh, Terradon as infantry well, some way, it actually... 
I wonder if this is healed by the garage. I mean, is, if this is repaired by the garage or healed by the hospital. But anyway, I am sure a very professional player or someone expert in Riddle 3 may see this video and answer that for us. But in the meantime, okay, there's only one Tengu that is half HP, so bits inattentive of the green other fabs, not using his army in a maximum potency. Two sickles, three bullfrogs coming from the skip 517. And Alvente losing Tengus for nothing. Oh, that's, that's a bit terrible execution coming from the Alvin. Very careless of him. Losing three Tengus and not even dealing any kind of a damage. So, I mean, three Tengus go to drain down. Guardian tanks are now being stacked upon the base of Skip 5-7. There are some Peacekeepers, but I think Peacekeeper numbers should increase one by one. After all, this is Soviets. So, Soviets can always get a terror drop. But now, well, Ski is getting hammer tanks, which is, well, the first one just gets to <laughs> <laughs> destroyed as well very quickly uh another new hammer tank which is nice barracks has been built so that units can may be blocked black cannon is also being built now tangus have arrived and apollos gets destroyed that's actually nice but how the tangus are going to help well it's very simple if you take the fight to him i mean your opponent then well he will have to focus the defending himself as well this is a very good strategy and a very general strategy in red of three now, uh, MCV packed up? No, okay, no, that's not. But Multigun Trick is now low power, so it's not going to attacking. On the meantime, this IFP is like helplessly sending some rockets, but realizing that it's not going to deal any kind of damage, so it's going to join on the front lines. Now, there's only one Terra Drone and one Hammer Tank. Uh, if you like, you, if you have some godlike mi micro, you can actually crush all of these with it. But. That's not going to happen. Only one crash has happened, and these bullfrogs are exposed. But well, they will survive, so that's actually nice. Alvin is now being much more careful and now expanding on the third refinery, so good for him. Garage is now under attack by the green alert. On the meantime, harassment is being done to Yuno as well, so that's actually very nice of him. But the only issue is Ki is now suffering terribly, losing two collectors immediately. And okay, no, actually, one collector, the other one is somehow still alive. So attacking the Tesla coil over here, and new war factory is being built, so that's okay. That's actually nice. Bullfrogs are over here, though, so that's something else. And Yuno is also did his own expansion point, so that's nice. Alvin should be attacking at this point. I don't know why his VXs and Snummy tanks are mostly in his own base. He should be doing some march on the green alert, perhaps. So Tesla troopers are joining the fray, a rare sight for real, but let's be honest, no peacekeepers, and that's how you deal with uh, VC cra not crash bounty, cash bounty, and I hope that he really get, I mean, unlock the cash bounty now, because he lost so many opportunities that would help him, but instead he only used on the, like, three or four guardian tanks, real. Now, unfortunately, Yuno's army has been reset. Now, they have to address the army of the Almonte. I don't know why did they not they did not attack simultaneously. Uh, ooh, that's actually insane coming right up from the hill. That's why Almonte did not suspect anything about this attack, and he is losing his entire air potency one by one. There's only one BX. Tango has risen. Tango goes down right now, and all of these tsunami tanks are now under the wrath. Of this VX, there is no Apollo. I mean, there are only IFVs, and IFVs are so far away from anything else. One tsunami goes down, second tsunami is taking so much damage. There are only, and the nano deflectors have expired. So finally, some tangos come to rescue, but long before, I mean, this odd oh, tsunami tank were low HP, but the final anti air takes the L as well. Tsunami tanks are being launched like the campaign that you would do. There's nothing on the space to stop this. Tesla, um, Tesla troopers going from the attack move and two IFPs take the L immediately. You know, is like what is he exactly doing? Because I didn't see any kind of action from him after losing his uh, guardian tanks. Uh, from the looks of it, his economy has been stricken down terribly, and Alvin is now losing another refinery just before the previous game in like a fashion in a consecutive order. But now you know, realizing that that's not going to happen, and yeah, guys. This is the second replay that crashes constantly, so this is going to happen in this game too, so, well, don't mind if I do. <laughs> anyway, by, about the game, uh, Alvin plays a little bit and <laughs> he taps out as well. 
but I really don't want to see any kind of game crashing. So I mean, please, please have please have some heart and understand me. But now I can I can easily say that will be no more further crashing, so we can at least continue without any kind of concern to crashes. As far as I know, I checked the lamp now a little bit, and well, that should be it. Now let's get into it. I guess I'm good to go. Am I? Oh wait, which replaces? this? <laughs> and we are back on Corporate Warfare. Now, we have Green Empire, but now this is not the Green Ally. This is Zuth with his ally. This is Blue Allies. This is XX Mastermind XX, but I will call him Mastermind from the rest of the game. Follow him with Orange, Soviets, not a crane opening, Barracks and Bears. This is Arc of Flame. And finally, his ally. This is Wolverine 1, 2, 3, Purple Empire. So, unlike the previous games, we didn't previous game we did not see any kind of like multi gunner threat or any kind of constant harassment over here just i want to say captured the airport and like benefit benefited for it maybe like 10 minutes perhaps until then <laughs> green other grows sick and tired of it and just destroyed it so that was very good of him so let's see infantry is being pumped up but no bridge destruction is happening actually. The rally they're just moving on the rally point. On the meantime, Zuth gets his own oil there as well. So Argo Flame gets his first. And then Zuth and the Master Minex. And I think so we see the capture of his own oil there by the Wolverine 123. For a game like this, it's a very rare sight to see that bridges are not being focus fired. Okay, finally, Mastermind is now responding to it, but it's a little bit late. I think this conscript, okay, this one made it, but this couldn't make it. One javelin goes down, and the second piece, I mean, Peacekeeper goes out as well, but this bear, I think, lived good enough. Now, first thing is out. Uh, whoa, Defender VX. Uh, fine, but you have your ally. You can also request a multi gunner threat for him, from him. <laughs> Mastermind is X X. Oh, I can't speak. Mastermind X is actually sending some javelins over these garrisons. I think we all have realized the potency of these garrisons. Okay, there's only one over there. So garrisons uh, here as well. So that's important. Wolverine also stopping this Dojo core right on the tracks. Nobody's bothered with capturing here. Wolverine, what are you doing? You can really use this. Now Mastermind is going for expansion point, which is quite nice. I guess we can say the same for the Arc of Flame as well. Going for the sea expansion, quite not a bad move. After all, I mean, either you go from mid, which is perhaps the wisest way to move, or you directly go to C. The only issue is when you go to C, uh, how to say? Well, you can always go for the Navy, but the Soviet Navy is, I mean, a lot to left to desire. I mean, you don't have aircraft carrier, you don't have EMP missiles, you don't have shoguns, you don't have fortified fleet, but just dreadnoughts. I mean, they do the job for real, but. I mean, that's only what they do. They have range and nothing at all. And also, Arco Flame not even making his walls and suffering some damage for his own economy. And sending one hammer tank to deal with this. Also, Wolverine <laughs> sending all of his Tengus here and dropped on them. But how necessary was that? If you ask me, okay, one Tengu goes down. So, Zeus is saving his at least one Tengu. Now, Mastermind X is now getting his hand on some aircraft. 
which was perhaps about time for any kind of allies play. Ooh, that, that's too much to handle. Once Apollo takes the L immediately, and this... Oh no, this Vindicator can die immediately. <laughs> Tango already made it here, and there is actually nothing here to defend. And, okay, that can be a little bit lazy. Are you telling me that... Did you really request your ally to come all around here? To defend you? Okay, he didn't. But, but dude, you definitely need a test coil or something like that. Oh no, okay, Wolverine is up to engage in a in a most terrible way. Uh, three Apollos are welcoming these Tengus, and Tengus are taking also damage from the Javelins. What are we doing, Wolverine? And also, reinforcements have arrived. Zuth is now responding to this ally. He can't even land. What? Is it all cooled down? What are you doing? You are letting all of your Tengus... Oh no, man. That was... That was terrible, I have to say. What was that? I hope he really forgot what did he, he what what he was doing with his own tengus and let them go there. And I, okay, where my tengus are? Because I think that's, I mean, that's how you eject yourself from the game. Now you have zero tengus and your opponent has so many tengus, and of course, I mean, allies will feel no difficulty about it and start like sending vindicators and take it down and then come back. A feeling and also now Muscle Mine X is also attacking the expansion points of the Arc of Flame. And the other thing is, Arc of Flame is not doing lots of things in this game. Like a bit passive, can I say? I mean, of course, I mean, that's perhaps better than what Wolverine did by ejecting himself from this game, by <laughs> letting all of his Tengus die for nothing. I mean, compared with that, yeah, that's better than. I mean, that's, I mean, not doing anything will be better than what he did. But that's not how, it, how the game is supposed to be played. After all, at one point or another, you're supposed to attack your opponent. Also, criminally bad use of the or, uh, cash bounty again. I will try to use it on the or Okay, is it used on here? Okay, it's used on here. So, a little bit of remorse. But now he's ejected from the C expansion point, which is a bit awful. And also, Zuth. I think he is having some good time because he's expanding over here, but not over here. So that's a bit odd. Now Wolverine is now slowly getting dismantled after losing all of his Tengus thanks to <laughs> his suicide charge like the Edwin would do. In, not Edwin, that was Erwin? Erwin. Anyway, in Attack of Titan, lost everything for nothing. And now just like hit and runs are coming and coming and happening and Arc of Flame is not trying to defend it and C control has been maintained by the Mastermind X so I think time is now ticking for Arc of Flame and Wolverine 1, 2, 3 which unfortunately I think they don't have much time left because Zuth he's, he's just in a very bad he is in a really good shape and this refinery is just passing around but <laughs> alright you can also take here that's at least shorter than this distance. I can easily say that. Yeah, attacking here. Okay. I think they can finish the game, but I think they're taking it lightly. Cryoshot has been used over here. Mm, how necessary was that again? Also, Assault Destroy is now taking, sh making short work of this Assault Destroy. Ah! Assault Destroy is now making short work of the Collector, but can't evade it. And you have so much hammer tanks, just grab some bullfrogs and do an attack. I mean, what are you going to do with them? You can't defend for the entire of the game. I can easily tell you that. That's not going to work. But from the looks of it, I mean, Arc of Flame, if he's going to pass over here, 
that would be great for him. Now he is expanding to the land. At least he has some awareness for the expansion, how important they are. He's the, one, the first player that was trying to expand on the seas. Now, ooh, that's so many infantry, by the way. I don't think there is a good amount of unit that they can counter it. Of course, there are... I mean, hammer tanks can always go for the crushing move. Speaking of crushing, I mean, the economy of the Ark of Flame gets almost crushed. I mean, not entirely. Now, instead of capturing it, destroying the airport is also another option, but... Oh uh, well, I mean, the damage has been given so long, and aircraft carrier is already here. That's a bit overkill, considering the situation we have here. Just get yourself a super weapon or just launch the attack. I don't think they have the means to stop this army. Now, Arc of Flame is still not passing over this section. I mean, imagine the Looney Tunes and a Bugs Bunny leaps out and say, I could do not cross this line. And Arc of Flame just says, okay. Oh, not. And javelins are not engaging and this hammer tank just takes the L already. There is no bears here. Uh, like, trust me, you just can't really go in like that. That's a bit insane. Southern Transport is here as well. They're passing graciously over it. But I think Arc of Flame realized it. Um, engineer has been dropped. <laughs> that's that's a bit disrespectful, maybe. But now, just handled with. And point defense rolls are right. But what's the point of point defense rolls after, like, having the half of the hammer tanks just get destroyed? You don't have the army to use on it. That's for something. Five tsunami tanks. The more what, what you could ask more is like more. Ooh, that's so many tanks. And also using cash bounty on them is a very optimistic way of thinking. And also now amount of the aircraft carriers that we parking over here is not two. And um, all right, this is still alive. That's nice for it. But a money shot cryoblast has arrived, and all of the army is frozen. I think at this point this is a bit GG, so <laughs> it's a bit sad. Um for real. I would expect a little bit better. At least Arc of Flame passed over here and now Arc of Flame just taps out the game unfortunately. So that's <laughs> what else I can say? Now Wolverine also taps out the game, but honestly speaking, things have Nah, things were in a bad shape after he lost his Tengus, so it was like a bit of like one versus two a moment. As you can see, for example, this is the moment that the Tengus just died, and now there he is, and it's impossible to recover after that. So, in like in two versus two games, I uh, just do not engage against the two opponents. I mean, that's the point. Of course, if you have clear advantage in terms of numbers of the units and maybe tech or anything like that, well then, yeah, sure, you can go for it. But un unless, well, that's very risky to do, for real. But now let's see how they are going to do in the next game. Now we are in one of the very quite questionable map, I have to say. The Shogun's Alley or Shogunate Alley? I think it's Shogun's Alley. Anyway, so this... Now, let's get to it. This is Zuth and his Trustworth Ally, but now playing as the Red Allies. This is... Let me double check. Okay, this is Mastermind X. On the meantime, this is Purple Empire. This is Wolverine 1, 2, 3. And this is... The Pacifist. <laughs> this is the Arc of Flame. Playing as the orange Soviets again. Now, like before, this map was also littered with capturable buildings. So that means lots of amount of cash to be spent on the engineers if you wish to have some advantage. I mean, capturing them is something, but protecting them is something else entirely. So we will see to it. On the meantime, uh, no dojo coming from the Wolverine. So that's a bit interesting. Coming from him, I mean, previously he just sent lots of units to die. And very quick, Mecha Bay. On the meantime, Mastermind X is not thinking like that and actually amassing a mantle of infantry and also destroying the garage. So that actually translates into I will not use any kind of vehicles in this game as long as I don't I need them. 
I will focus on infantry. If only he also captures this hospital, that could work, but, well, hospital capture is quite rare, especially on high levels, so the only hospital capture so far I saw is the game that we watched together, done by the green alert, so, well, thankful for that. And also criminally inattentive, because after all, if the moment that these infantry makes it here, it will be over for the Wolverine. I can easily say that. Now Tengu is now trying to repel these infantry, but, well, honestly speaking, I don't think that's happened. But at least Javelin gets sniped, that's something better than nothing. And these Peacekeepers are suffering damage for no reason. This Tengu could actually also go back to base, not by going jet boat. I don't think that was necessary. Anyway, Arc of Flame is now having some difficulty with securing his own oil derrick, getting his Black Trooper to be slashed. Oh, this Imperial Warrior actually did more than that. Alright, Apollo and a Vindicator coming together to snipe at least one Tengu. And I think the ward is going to this Tengu. And why did you go for the jet mode? I mean, you can't really engage on Apollo with the three Tengus. You will need a little bit more than that. Sickles are now... Did you really get Sickles? Uh, sickles are now attacking to this garage, but from the DPS they have, I think this will take a very long time. On the meantime, Arc of Flame is going to meet some surprise in his own base, and this Black Trooper is just here, but well, has been spotted already. And no infantry over here, no Black Trooper over here, so if he had placed one over here, he could at least sell these walls. And deal some slow amount of damage. Terror drone is now here, but oh, it's infected. That's nice, but as long as they have the repairs, I mean, they will deal more damage than it could possibly do them. And this Tengu is going to survive. I mean, three hammer tanks in the base. But damage has been done, so quite unfortunate. On the meantime, Garage has been destroyed as well, so Tengus have lost advantage on the land. At least, Wolverine once again making a loss of Tengus, which is nice. But if he's going to suicide them, that's not going to be reasonable. I think at this point you can go for Jet Mode. Alright, that's nice. One, tank, one Apollo takes the L, the other one is low HP. If he could react it sooner, and if they just throttle over here and then make the U-turn, they could actually get the second Apollo as well. But anyway, better than nothing. These sickles are actually, <laughs> I mean, following these things, but come on. Without bullfrogs or teledrons, there's no really any reason to capture, I mean, follow them. On the meantime, this oil derrick can be perhaps destroyed, but Arc of Flame has something more important to attend with. On the meantime, Wolverine is now going to be aggressive, but not over here, I can easily say that. There's one will get through it, and I think this is filled with javelins, so that's not worth it. Perhaps going over here, but again, I think there's a one javelin here, so that's not worth it as well. Now, not so very combined forces, I mean only, th okay, this is combined forces, three Apollos and handful of Tengus are now gliding over the Wolverine. I think they will taunt the Wolverine, and there is no defender reactions over here. Now, Tengus are attacking. Okay, that's actually nice, going for mecha mode. Uh, but take one Tengu died for nothing. That's actually sad. And finally, we see some help coming from the Arc of Flame, building a Tesla coil over here. But, well, you can build a Tesla coil over here to defend your ally, but what's going to defend you from his Tengu? I mean, if he directs the attention to you, Striker VX is being built, not that's actually nice. Vindicator is arriving, and you could actually go for jet mode. And also, why did you? Oh, that's a bit mistakes happened. Now, Tengus are now jet mode. Uh, unfortunately, we see some mess ups coming from, from the Wolverine. I think he is a bit excited. And I got flames, hammer tanks are just draining HP from this observation post. And, well, command hub over here, so we can easily say Mastermind wants to get his fourth refinery, but Zult is just content with his own two refineries. He's not considering, for example, third by any means. Okay, I think I'm wrong, and this is a refinery to be built. 
a very odd composite army, but honestly speaking, uh, against this much of Thengu, I don't think it can work or pack a punch by any means. <laughs> okay, so satellite drops. Uh, fine. What else I could say? Unfortunately, I mean, as long as you don't build these walls, you will always quickly lose your collectors. That's something. On the meantime, oh, right. Monopoly goes down. Command hub is still alive. Vindic. Oh, <laughs> that's mad. Or oh, we are losing more. Okay, just just escape. Do not engage. Oh no! Come on, man. Ah, uh, okay. So once again, Wolverine loses his Tangus. For for three three Apollos, one Vindicator, one Command Hub, and that's all. But at least he is trying to move. Is he trying to move them close, dude? You should have done this like 15 seconds ago. But now, once again, you lost your army, and Arc of Flame is just compared to the previous game. I think he he made more miles with his own units, but still, he's not attacking this. I mean. Never made it over here. So I don't know why Arco play is playing this much of passive. I don't know what kind of strategy he wants to do. But it did not work on in last game. So what makes him think that it will work in this game? For example, this Tengu Cloud can easily come in. Okay, there's a test of of this, so that's actually nice. Mix them are right, but that's lots of Tengus, so you will probably need much more mix to deal more splash damage and more damage overall to Tengus. Now, all the fine resounder attack, army is just moving one point to another, one point to another, and that's it. Also, four Apollos, that's actually very nice. But now, realizing that the Mings are down, so they can go for over here. Four Striker VXs, nice. And also, these <laughs> reserve Bullfrogs are actually taking down one Apollo while going back to base. I think these Apollo... Okay, so, Zoot is much more careful, unlike the Mastermind Xs over here. Uh, multi gunner threat over here, but from the looks of it, I don't think Arc of Flame will attack in this game, so that's a bit unnecessary. But we will see to it. Also, speaking that Mastermind X is quite, like, how to say, determined. He, okay, this is not a command up, this is a multi gun threat, and he's not selling it, so I think he will, one way or another, send one. Okay, from the looks of it, no. But I think his patience is like ended and he wants to end Arc of Flame. After all, I mean, once again, Wolverine 103 is not pacified. Battle Lab. Well, uh, I think this guy is trying to find some ways to not attack. Okay, wait a second. Is this happening? What was it? Is it was this a sickle? He made it over this point, so that's impressive coming from him. But now, I mean, soon enough, he's going to meet a true pronged attack. Now he's running the bullfrogs, that's actually nice, but well, there is also another hit squad. Do not lose the bullfrogs, whatever happens. Satellites has been used, but uh, that's, I mean, always zone buildings, that's much more better. Awaiting the cryo shot, that's actually nice. Roar coming right up. That's actually nice. I mean, this guy has some moves, but for some reason he's not attacking. I don't know why. Also, APOC is here. Nice, but against this much of units, I am a bit unsure what he can do. Now, one of the IFBs has been crushed. The second IFB gets crushed, but Javelin's already locked in, and this Javelin is just relentless, sending so many rockets. And Wolverine is now going for harassment. Dude, just come over here and cut the reinforcement supply or help your ally. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. VX just sending the. Okay, this is not the VX. We... Okay, this Guardian thing got the veteran rank by dealing the last hit on the POC, and MCB also is down. So. Hammer tank is now being built, but I mean, there's nothing here can stop the tracks of the masterminds, so it doesn't really matter. And, and this is this is very unbearing to see, but at least you took the prospector, so hooray! 
But again, you lost lots of units. At least you didn't send your VXs, so that's that's a solace. Also, now War Factory is out. What the hell is this? Oh, wait a second. What are I going to attack with this? I mean, your base is now being pummeled. Oh. VXs are have a right, but, well, they are also staying way too close to each other and taking some stash damage. And well, javel all of these javelins are now five javelins. Imagine you have a sudden transport and you send them in. And this is a wrecking crew. Can destroy an entire base in a matter of seconds. Of course, I mean, as long as your opponent gets a barracks and... Did you see that Tomb Blade? What was that? Anyway. Ah, uh, well, a bit anticlimactic game. I wanted to see much more action, but of course that that may not happen in every single game. But anyway, GG for our players. Let's see what we have on next. Okay, where was it? Ah, okay. So we have in this game a little bit substitute. We are now on. Hostile Hostel, and again we have Zuth playing as a Green Empire, and then his ally, now this time playing as a Light Blue, this is Mastermind X, and Orange Soviets, this is Arc of Flame, and this is Purple Soviet, this is Master Purple. So I don't know who is this Master Purple guy is, but we will see what, he, what kind of difference he's going to bring in this game, unlike his ally. So maybe he did not join I'm unsure, but now he's starting with a crane and barracks is out already. Arc of Flame is sending some units on top of the mid I mean midsection of this map, but no frag troopers, so that means these dojo course can easily get around here. On the meantime. Now he's not really losing a lot to this infantry clash. I mean infantry by scout, let's say. Uh, this flag trooper losing the rally point and now passing around. On the meantime, I mean, we have so, so much bears. That's a bit uh, overspending. And there is no conscript here. There's only engineer. Ooh, these bears clump so terribly. So the moment that you lose a roar, you will lose all of your bears. Oh, that's odd. The <laughs> dog has stunned these, these bears. But they didn't really work out. Still no conscripts. Fine. Our conscripts are coming from at least Arcaflame this time. What is he getting? Okay, he's getting War Factory. I hope he's not getting sickles. But his flag trooper is, hey, I mean, stray. So, what the? I don't know. I will probably go for this one anyway. A pool peacekeeper, instead of getting burned, it gets just trampled and crushed. But, wait a second, this, okay, no, get back the engineer. Get back the... <laughs> okay, this MCV is just starting to receive some damage. There is no conscripts out. Barracks is out, but there's no conscripts. Super reactor is being built, so that's actually nice, but, oh my god. He's getting sickles. Fine. Um... Buster Mine X is going for the air unit, but where is your Apollo and a Vindicator? Multigunner has been deployed as well. I mean, quite an um, unfortunate start coming by the Master Purple. He is now engaging on two hostiles, and his ally is not responding well. I mean, he has a sickle here, just enjoying the view, I suppose. He completely forgot that he had the sickle too. Two sickles of one pterodrom. Finally, we see some action by the Arc of Flame. You can do it, buddy. Just, just get over here. Can you just? Oh my. Oh, okay, he got to see Doc scores, so that's nice. But oh, sick moves coming from him. Infecting. I think that's a premature infection. I mean, you could move, uh, move it over here. But anyway, I'm the same result. Uh, Master Purple is just taking so much damage. 
He definitely needs a barracks immediately and an engineer. Or otherwise, I think this MCB will be shut down very Ooh, I think he has much more trouble in his own base. He got cryo rushed by the Mastermind X. And what is our Arc of Flame is doing? Where are the bullfrogs? There are no bullfrogs. We have two hammer tanks against a tier 2 mecha base. So I think this is a VX. It's coming right up. The good news is okay, collector gets destroyed, so that's nice. Multi gunner trade. I mean, see, this multi gunner trade is being built, and where, what kind of help that you're giving to your teammate. I mean, this guy is trying his best to win. I have to say, this I don't know who this master purple guy is, but he is at least he's trying something. He knows a decent build order. I mean, some errors on execution, but we all do that. So this, I mean, heroic peacekeeper, I have to say. And not a single flag to cannon has been built. Not a single flag, well, I'm sorry, bullfrog has been sent to his ally. That's not how you play a team game. I mean, you guys remember the first game, right? How Green Alert and a Skip 571 helped each other. With Tesla coils, flag cannons, and like the Southern Transport and such. But Arc of Flame is just... Well, he's losing more collectors. I think this game is soon to end. And oh, this is a bit unfortunate. This MCV has been spotted by this Vindicator. Just coming here to spot if he had rebuilt the collectors. I wonder... I wonder what would, like, Master Purple would be saying or thinking, like... Is this amount of suffering that I am having worth the end? Well, unfortunately, if that's what you say, uh, no. I mean, this game is completely over for the Arc of Flame. And the things are getting actually worse for him. Some of this Bullfrog is still alive. Arc of Flame is audacity to res. I mean, this beacon should be like, okay, I need some help. And here's the thing. He, I mean, no matter what, his ally is trying to help him. Like he's, I'm sure he has no cash by anything, by anyhow. But he's at least building this flat cannon. Maybe if he has requested before, the guy will be building it before. But what kind of help did you give to your ally? Well, you did, you did nothing. Now MCV is down. Pressure crate has been sold, I believe. And no collectors, so this war factory is going to get a bullfrog, which is nice. Okay, can't even get the bullfrog. Oh no. And about Alcaflame has the MCB, but. Okay, good. That's a terror drone. Oh no, cryo shot has been used on the super reactor, and now this cryo cutter is trying to freeze. And yeah, Master Purple says, screw this, I'm not going to spend my time for it. And well, I can play him, he's just wobbling around. I wonder what is this? He has a hammer tank over here enjoying the sight. And uh, Peacekeepers, are, okay, finally we get to see the Bullfrog. And is he going to make it? They are no friends of mine. Oh, fortunately not make it. The amount of the health that he has is way too low, but again, we so worse. Now building, okay, Arc of Flame. Uh, well, better luck next time for the Arc of Flame. I really felt sad for the Master Purple guy because he really gave, he really gave what he had, and tried his best, and his build order was not that bad. But well, things happen. So let's see, let's see what we're going to see the next. Now we are, I think we are going to get blessed a little bit. Yep. Now we are back on the corporate warfare. And now this is going to be familiar for you guys. Also lots of green empire, but now this is green alert. Of course, not unfortunately playing as the Soviets, but he's playing empire. And on his left, this is a trustworthy ally. This is skip 571. Following with the blue Soviet, a powerhouse, this is Obiek, and his ally, the Red Empire, this is Edwin. 
So again, I think this these are the players I can easily say study their strategy because this is consistently consistently getting a crusher trade. On the meantime, uh, for example, even maybe even though the game is not in fixed position, for example, on the previous game they have started in the exactly opposite uh, starting points. It doesn't really matter. Ski is getting crusher crane quickly, and now. Quickly going for the tier 2, even before sending lots of units out there. He's only getting for his oil derrick. But now Edwin is sending his dojo core, so that's actually nice. But in any moment, I think we can easily say Ski is going to get a flak trooper. Right now, he is building it. This bear gets crushed, unfortunately. On the meantime, some... Oh! Now, that's, again, <laughs> ways of playing this game. As you can see, I mean... Ski and Green Other is trying to create themselves building radius. How about, for example, can we see such coordination coming from the Edwin and the Obiek? Uh, I know Obiek knows how to play Soviets at a good level, easy to say, but can they coordinate? Well, we will see to it. On the meantime, this uh, dojo has been built, no reaction coming from the Obiek as well. I mean, Obiek is a little bit busy. With this, oh no, this push is coming to him. And reactor has been built, so more buildings are going to be built one by one. Tesla coil is also getting built as well. I mean, and well, Obiek is also suffering some cash problems, but his super reactor is soon to be built. Now, Edwin is trying to engage with these Imperial warriors, but most of the buildings in this base are just walled. So maybe take okay, take down the barracks and go for the oil derrick. That would be good. Also, take you can always you can always take down these flak troopers. But Orbeck is now having some difficulty. Wait, what is this? Did it force fire? Uh, what the hell? Why did he attack his own collector? But anyway, I don't know. But um, maybe Obiak would answer by himself. <laughs> Some more walls are being getting built. Uh, okay, you also have Mecha Bay, so Sasa sent some Tengus. I mean, Obiak is at least doing some harassment, and well, if Obiak gets sickle, I will believe that he has a good reason for it. So things are quite, mm, how to say, chilling for, for the green other that I can say, unlike the previous game. And now, unfortunately, Obik is now suffering a Tesla coil right on his face. And even worse, oh no, this is a Tesla trooper. And MCV has been shut down. If only this, ah, oh, in a split second, Teradron gets in the net of the Tesla trooper and just gets zapped. Alright, you, you can use it. Cash bounty, but okay, sold off. And well, the amount of the damage that the engineer pistol does it. And well, what is Edwin doing, by the way? Not anything particular, I have to say. Like, he is getting this garrison, which is good for him, but it's not helping Obiak by any means necessary. He has two hammer tanks, that's nice, but it's not going to work when there's a fat Tesla coil in his bay that's destroying his walls. And unfortunately, like there's a barracks, so any engineer can come up and capture these buildings as well. There's a terror drone of Obiek here, but I don't know what purpose it serves. Obiek is now trying to pull some units and do some harassment. Okay, destroying the wall, I think. No units gets destroyed, only one hammer tank. Uh, this hammer tank can't reach to this collector. Ah, that's very unfortunate, I have to say. But anyway, he tried. I mean, Ski is having his best time. And the OBX just says, okay, screw this, I'm done. The engineer is also... <laughs> I mean, engineer is just <laughs> checking this uh, super reactor. Sees if he can capture it. Also, so many bears are being pumped. Uh, Ski really wants to capture this super reactor, that's for sure. He doesn't really want to build it. And... And we made some expansions, which is nice. But, well, that how are you going to work it out when you're playing against two people? And 
you I mean Green Alert did not really play aggressive in this game. He just he just played all like let the ski grow very quickly and exponentially by creating some uh, for example something a core dojo core over here. So ski cat without moving the MCB anything like that can easily move the build the refineries over here. And what did uh, what did you do, Edwin? Yeah, you captured this garrison point, so just try to measure it and weigh which <laughs> which holds more importance. I don't care. You also captured this one. Also, this garrison build ha garrison building has so much HP. Even Tesla coil needs like three, four, five. I think the six will be enough. Yeah, six shots. Now, Edwin tried to go for crush move, but honestly speaking, I think Green Alert can take down this MCV by letting all of them be crushed. I mean, the amount of the damage explosives give is way too high, but now going for the jet mode is another answer. Now, Edwin is getting some more infantry, but, well, why? Mainframe core. Oh! Green Alert is a bit careless. Okay, he, he let it build. Uh, Edwin, are you really making a Q move? Also, re reaction coming from the skip 571 is insane. Like, imagine how much buildings are getting built. Like, wolves, Tesla coils, uh, this guy. Okay, one crusher crane. There are two crusher cranes and also MCV. So, three buildings can be built immediately. And this army just getting discombobulated just because of the sheer amount of buildings they are built immediately and tangles have arrived so that's another thing i mean there are some uh hammer tanks that's nice but there are also tesla troopers and tesla troopers can always go for tier 2 tanks and one-to-one -one combat that's nice uh Edwin started to send some tangles over here uh what's the purpose of getting all of this infantry what are you doing Edwin? somehow the <laughs> imperial warriors in this garrison started to join on the fray <laughs> So that's, that's nice for him. But anyway, GG for them. And good game for <laughs> Skip 571 and Green Island. I mean, they are prepared. I can easily say that. The amount of coordination is a better than, for example, the two, two teams of contestants that we have seen so far. So that's actually very great. They're really giving the name for this uh, two versus two. I mean, they really remunerate this two uh, part of it. Unlike the other players, I mean, these, for example, I can easily say that Obiek, on his own, is a very good player, but when you can't receive any kind of help from your teammate, what's the point of playing a 2 vs 2 game? Well, we saw the reason of it. After losing his, like, for example, the half section of his base, is just tapped out because he was on the point of no return. But anyway, let's see what we're going to see next. So we are back and right now we are in hostile hostel and this is once again <laughs> mean green but not playing Soviets. This is green alert playing the green empire with his trustworthy ally once again going for the crusher crate. This is scheme 571. On the left side we have Oviak once again playing as a blue Soviets going for a reactor on the seas and finally we have Edwin playing as a red empire. So... As, as usual and as expected, so Dojo cores are now moving on the mid, but a Bear Scout is just going right away to see the what's, what's, who is going to be his next victim on the right side of the map. On the meantime, we see Burst Drone and Scouting coming right up. A good amount of infantry, but I think one or two bears are definitely necessary for an army like this, especially when you're playing against Soviets or, well... Empire. So, Green Alert wants to go for a sudden transport rush with so many tank passes out there, but it has been just noticed by the burst drone already, so what's the point of it? And then Megan, lots of infantry, that's actually nice, and getting actually two of the oil there, that's actually nice, worth of one refinery entirely. So that will give a huge boost in the economy. On the meantime, once again, trouble is brewing. This MCV, I hope OBA can notice it, but 
He deployed. Let's move some people down. Okay, that's the reason I think why he deployed it. There's a terror drone over here, but this will give will be a good amount of time to recover and recuperate, or at least build his own forces. As you can see, his super reactor is being built over here because he anticipates that SK-571 is going to attack him with my Tesla push. On the meantime, there's a terror drone, but there's nothing on the field that can be that can do anything. This super reactor ordered very low HP, but unfortunately get intercepted by this Tengus and well, I mean he tried at least. But now he has access to these uh, garrison points, but against Soviets, I don't know what's or how powerful it could be. And I mean, naval yard is being built. That's actually nice. Stingray is up, so Ski can at least move freely to the base of Obi for a test push if any kind of terror drone incursion happens, or at least even worse, an infection. On the meantime, walls are being built and. As long as this crusher crane goes down, that's actually enough for the Obiek. Because otherwise, Soviets just cannot spam those buildings to build. On the meantime, uh, but that's, that's actually a nice way to play this game, I have to say. Overall, um, I have to say, like, easiest, <laughs> easiest two refinery you can get without even moving your MCV or anything like that. But now I think any well, happy hour is over, so tank busters and tank was arriving. But well, at least he is prepared. He has some units. The only issue is, well, how, re, how prepared Obiek is. Well, I can easily say he is not really good and prepared. Soon he will see some like loss of loss of and lots of tangos and Tesla coils are soon to be built over here. And the response he has, well, we will see. Stingrays. I've taken CAD with on there are two remaining three refineries on the ski side but okay finally the first Tesla coil is being built walls are being placed as well that's a bit annoying but there's nothing to be done well on an interesting maneuver uh we see a change of targets so all of the units and all of the tank passes are here and now finally we see Edwin now packing a punch into base of the green alert is this going to be it is this going to be green alert we will see the red coming out of from his base and well that will be his blood but well quickly intercepted so unfortunately that's not going to be it two stingrays have made into the base of the green and i'm sorry not the green alert of the edwin on the meantime well it, unfortunately most unfortunately the obiek is now fighting on two fronts and he is suffering the garrisons that he had the garrisons that he's supposed to have for protection but unfortunately it will be serving for the green island in this game and as you can see just only just a handful of tank busters causing so much havoc over here and testicle has been being built but it's actually attacking the walls instead of taking down this collector or maybe taking doing some damage over this refinery so I will probably replenish my walls to keep the Tesla coil busy with. Is it out of range? Okay, no, it's not rain, out of the range. Now five hammer tanks just going immediately, I think, a death march to here, but uh, there are Tesla troopers over here, so that may not work. On top of that, airfield is being built and also fight is now taken to the Edwin side as well. Uh, unfortunately, Edwin could not deal a significant damage to the green island. And Obeg is, I think, sending some signals to his ally. But well, he is using the terror dome very nicely, at least. We can easily say that. So, some army of the green island takes lots of amount of damage. And Tengu has arrived, but against the uh, tank busters, I'm quite unsure if this is the best way to use them. On the meantime, once again... Unfortunately, OB gets crawled on with the MCV push. And well, what the hell is this? So much wolves. And this striker wakes is having a good time. And also MCV terribly packed up in the wrong time. OB now Edwin with the uh let's say careful eyes of it. Now unfortunately MCV gets the L immediately. The, the final thing that this Imperial Warrior could do is take it out of terror drone, but that's too late. Also, I think that's all the death of the airstrike has been used. I don't know who used it, but doesn't really matter. Tesla coil is being built. Um, so oh, that's the and there are also tank passes, so that's actually nice. But if you destroy these two buildings, 
it will be over for the green alert. And there's actually nothing on this base. No production is coming right up either from the both of the players. I mean, this the, the green alert and of course... Oh no. And of course, the, uh, Ski is going to save, I guess. Oh, it already captured them. Uh, dude, just use your Tango and save your test... Save your Tengus from the Tesla Trooper. I finally does it, but... Uh, is it going to work it? I think... Oh. Okay, finally, the, this Tesla Trooper goes down so that they, he can actually save his friends, but... This Summit Tank is way too powerful. What are... Oh, no, Edwin, come on. Only two shots on this Summit Tank and that will be over. Uh, Obik is now making on the top of over here, but... He has no cash, I guess, so he has to crush the MCV. And, well, Collector is over here as well, so that's nice. But Ski is now crawling over the base of the OBX remaining, so... Well, that, you know how that feels. And, well, MCB is down. Also, there's only one refiner. This means Green Alert will be severely ineffective in this game. I mean, thanks to having this fat Slammy tank with star rank. That's actually nice. But there is no Terror Drone over here. So you can easily get juggled. And do not lose your Slammy tanks, no matter what. Also, do not engage like this as well. Is it going to happen? Yeah, it's going to happen. Also, there's Tesla Coil over Okay, that's your cue to go back. That's very simple, Edwin. I mean, realize that's what you can do and what you can't do. And also, this... I mean, do you see how important these garrisons are in this map? I mean, this is insane. You have to just allocate... A significant amount of resources over here just to take handle here okay there's one thing over here but well it's a very positive way of thinking that green other will do any kind of damage with this I guess is it going to happen yeah it's happened so collector is now on Red HP and well, oh. run the drones, run the bullfrog, <laughs> or maybe not. I'm sure. Now, attacking the main base, this could work if you have done this like maybe 10, 10 minutes before. Take down the crusher crane. And also, these black troopers are doing the God's work. I mean, you just can see... Edwin is completely irresponsible to his army taking some free damage over nothing. And now, uh, Edwin is now suffering his own main base. I mean, Obiek is trying to stay alive just with these uh, one refinery, and that will be all. And finally, we see Emperor's Rage, but they got so much wolves. Uh... I mean, this Emperor's Rage is going to be the Rage of Impotency, I think. Now, Tesla Coil now made contact. No walls are being built. And Tesla Coil goes down, so this could be it. But there's no anti-infantry. Okay, there's only one anti-infantry. That's nice. These conscripts are actually outliving their purpose for more than that. And Bear just made the contact. And Edwin is not moving the tank in. I think he doesn't care. Now, Flag Troopers just coming in and dropping the magnetic mines. on already the Islamic tank takes the L already. In some odd fashion, you can see Green Alert is now doing also making some impact in the game, taking down the collectors of the <coughs> Edwin. Uh, Ski is just having his best time, reaching everywhere, getting more and more uh, crusher cranes, more refineries. He just died. He just sits back and says, "I did my job. I protected my ally." and my opponents are weak at this point, so I don't really care. I will send some units and kill the, kill them and end the game. The OBX <laughs> Bullfrog is doing the marvels here, easily to say. Oh, well, that's actually a nice two level. Already two level. A star rank already. That's great, but unfortunately it takes down. Now, veterancy is being traded between units. Now this striker VX is up to get... This, take the stars and strip away from their shoulders and apply to himself. And also, that's a very odd way to place the instant generators. I mean, 
nice to have a Terradron over here, but... Wait a second, where is the collector of this refinery? No. Uh, how and what and why? This has been infected, but I think Ski can easily build a crusher crane over here. Okay, Obia crashed the MCV, built himself an economy, and now building over here, I guess. <laughs> Did you really wait Edwin to move over here? Like, hey, this is mine. Get the other ones. Uh... What the hell? Okay, fine. I thought he was trolling. Maybe. He lost, I mean, he lost this collector before he crashed with a crane. And I thought that he was just feeding it to pressure crane, building from the refinery. Uh, it just says I will push, I don't care about the rest. And I don't think Edwin has the means to counter this. I can't, these garrisons are still alive. Man, <laughs> this striker VX is just. And those are the, the air strike has been used as well, so that's another thing, but. Orbeek is still fighting and fed a terror drone into this move frog, so that's actually nice. And actually made a second contact and a little bit overkill. Now slowly Edwin is getting kicked from his base and whoa. Getting a tier three when you don't even your when your mecha base is under attack. Not that bad, but I think you should have done this a little bit earlier. So you would have a bay for Saturday just before you see the MCV. If you had that, that would be better. Also, I wonder if Green Alert is trying to get an MCV in this game. Oh. <laughs> Obeek is now going sneaky and building a Tesla coil. After all, there is nothing here to, for example, at least deal significant amount of damage before getting built. So that's actually nice of him. And wait. <laughs> Edwin is going to be stripped out of income. The only trouble is... Uh... I, th <laughs> I think OB should consider getting a new super reactor. Now, finally, we see Bay for Saturday, but move away, please. Okay, that's good. Now, two Tengus, but again, that's not a very good amount. Uh oh. Oh, oh come on, OB. You could have sold that one at least. He still has the power, so that's actually nice. And this Tesla coil actually doing more than it was expected to do so. And airfield? Yes, that's also target airfield. Uh, but... I wonder how much... Ooh. I completely missed this one. I wonder how much cash does our guy has. Uh, he's doing okay. I mean, he's spending his money and it's not going below the thousand credits. Now, nanotech mainframe. Uh, you got the tier three, you so you could actually sell it. Ooh. So did you destroy Tesla coils? That's nice, but now barracks are being built. Ooh, that's a flag. Trooper, but there are oh, you needed some bears. Still no MCV coming from the green other, by the way. So 
lots of time spent without any kind of point defense rounds or protocol powers. Ah, <laughs> okay, he gets to the MCV. It's about time. Now, with the help of the tier 3, Edwin just repels this MCV push. So, well, total victory, can we say? I mean, you lost great amount of buildings, like refinery, power plant, half of HP of the Mecha Bay, maybe. Man, Obiak really fights back, by the way. This guy has a really good spirit. But I think, speaking of this having some spirit, it would be a little bit better if he moved and take down this Dreadnought. Also, by the way, did he capture Drydock? Or is it... I, I guess that's because of the Crusher Crane. Now, if Obiak does not lose the Bear Force Artery, it will do wonders for himself. Like, this Dreadnought is not that Dreadnought. Yep, that's actually nice. But they also be mindful with the uh, the rising power of the green now that he is he's recovering. Good amount of time has passed, so it should be okay. Also, I think this MCV is soon to die. And a protocol power has been used over here, so I guess that's what the Delta strikes. Some infantry gets destroyed immediately, like eviscerated. Now, is this going to be a target change? Wait, what? Ski just left the game. But why? I mean, the sheer determination of the Obiak really carried the Edwin. And of course, I mean, Edwin was quite calm and a little bit calculated. And Obiak has so much cash. In the meantime, Edwin is destitute. And I don't know how this team does not have any kind of cash. Unbelie unbelievable. I uh, <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm stunned. With the help of the being collect, I mean, Edwin was calm and collected and going for tier three. Just one wave for Sartori, and that was all. And like Obiak was determined, and with just his MCV and tier two, he just get Tesla coils in some good positions. And yeah, they won the game. And Ski had insane advantage. So maybe. Yeah, you can kick out someone, but as long as they are not eliminated, that doesn't necessarily mean that you will win the game. No, that's not going to happen. But I'm quite surprised. I really didn't expect this. But GG, really GG for the Orbiak and, <laughs> and of course, Edwin. Because in the previous game, um, that was not the best performance perhaps Edwin could give to us. Or demonstrate not even in the sense of like in general gameplay and also team play but in this game well the team play, um, team game wise speaking not the best perhaps but he really played what he could do at least and that's something so let me see i believe i may be missing one extra replay so i will check over here so this will take a little bit so, so apologies guys Okay, I guess we should be good to go, right? Let me double check. Yes, okay, we are good. Finally, we see. So this is technically the fourth game. Island Nublar on... We start with the green... Okay, I'm not, not the... Ah, I'm so angry. Green Island, this is Green Empire. Why are you not playing Green Soviets? I don't know, but hopefully it will fix soon enough. This is Purple Skip 571. Now this is interesting, we don't see Crane, but of course this is map is very small. And this is Red Empire, this is Edwin, and finally we see Obiak playing as again blue Soviets, which is quite interesting. He is always picking the blue for the Soviets. Meanwhile, there are some other players picking for the significant colors. Like for example, Dumon always going for a yellow. Green Alert goes for the green. And our guy is going for the blue Soviets. For example, Yuno and Dutch Army always go for the red allies. And Edwin also likes the Red Empire as well. And so far, so good. Skip 571, always picking purple. So we will see to it. 
Armin is now trying to bodaciously protect his old Derek. But so much bears are coming right up. But that's actually quite nice considering that there are still a handful of bears <laughs> moving around on flat <laughs> troopers. I mean, he really doesn't care. He just even even not even the flat kind of mode, but like magnetic mind mode. On the meantime, Edwin is now juggling to stop. I mean, green, green now that to capture the garage, but not going to happen. And well, he also Edwin also captured the, his own garage, so that's is that is going to benefit a lot for his own team. On the meantime, uh, Obek is quite offensive with infantry. I mean, Soviet infantry without any kind of support is, well, mincemeat. So, I don't know how is it going to work, but now... Ooh, that's great, actually. All of the flag cat troopers are now taken down with the help of the OBX own terror drone. They were accompanied by the bear, but now they are helpless. I can't do anything. So, insane help. Just in an early game. All of the flag troopers are dead. Most unfortunate. On the meantime, Obiak wants to go in. Which I, is it going to be? I hope this is an expansion put because I don't think you can do a push. Maybe you can do a push because, again, this is a very small mob. And I really like this move coming from the Obiak. Like, he has a complete vision. Of course, it's not complete, but a good amount of vision of his opponent. So he knows what is he doing. And that's a game breaker for the games. And also, these sickles are suffering a bit. But now, wait a second. How did they have a garage? Okay, yes, of course. Edwin captured the garage, and our opponent team hasn't captured the garage yet. I mean, Green Alert is responsible for that, and he says, "Okay, I'm on it. Just give me some time." I mean, the amount of time is needed to <laughs> protect this oil uh, refinery, and. Uh, I think it heals the damage. Okay, it's not, but it will need much more time. And now OB can get back to mining safely. Reinforcements for the uh, clearing out this harassment coming from the admin as well. And two tangles of the green. Okay, one tangle takes the L. And the second tango gets the L as well. And no seaside explosives are given yet. So the big trouble. MCB is moving in a uh, awkward position. So what I think they're doing is scary. You can easily go around here and go for expansion. So why is that? And also some sickle harassed attempts are being made. But I mean, they have a garage. So if you can't kill it, it's not... Oh. Persistence? <laughs> okay, that's actually nice. But there's a terror drone. Happened to be nearby. So again, more units are wasted. And even worse, just... You can't really go toe-to-toe -to -toe against these. Advin just completely letting this Tengu going, and he's not even defending this one. Like, Advin could even, like, perhaps throwing this game. I can just say the conscript is now getting close. And infection has been done, that's actually nice. Ski is trying to, like, take down this refinery, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. This conscript is actually. Is it actually. Okay, no, it's not. But it actually absorbs so much damage, so that's actually nice of him. On the meantime, the chronicles of this collector that cannot die still continues. And did Edwin lose this collector? I don't know, maybe. Okay, it's not. And the game is a little bit stabilized in terms for the team Green Alert and Ski 57. Even perhaps better, this refinery could have. I mean, could be saved, but somehow with just two hammer tanks and one terror drone, and that's how powerful Soviets can be, uh, this refinery goes down. In the meantime, I mean, so much effort is being, I mean, done by the green alert to take down just one collector. Even worse, when did Edwin expand over here? But now, as long as you can't defend it, that's, there is no good reason for it. Uh, well, Ski is just bullying the players here. The first, Obiek, and now Edwin. But well, he's actually using his units well. And there's a Terror Drone over here, so that's not the best thing to do. But 
Tessa Trooper is soon to get out. Oh, two oh, terror draws are already here. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, watch out, guys. I'm mean, cover your eyes if you are sensitive to it. Just random Tesla troopers and not dying immediately. I will be left them accompanied. And uh, this is actually great. This could serve a very good point. Now, VXs have arrived. And, I mean, Green now that is not picking some targets. Like, we should attack first, he says. But, <laughs> okay, that's actually nice timing. But now, Ski is not bullying the MCV of the... OBX, so that's actually... Is it working? Like, constantly sending Tengus over here to prevent mining, that's the strategy. And Edwin is now chilling a bit, but he's not responding very quickly. And OBX losing his construction yard, unfortunately. Once again, Teng Tengus arrived just in time, and not in time, actually. The damage has been given, so fortunately not in the time, but... Hooray, it's going to be MCV trade, I guess. Uh, maybe, I'm not sure. I mean, still, as long as there's a garage, I mean, the amount of the repairs are great, so that's not going to happen in short time. Now, Obiek unfortunately loses the, his MCV, but this is Obiek, and taking down the MCV means not so much of thing. Of course, he still has Wolf Factory, and that's his, like, oh, no. That's too many of Hammer Tanks. Uh, I wonder what really prevented uh, Edwin to spam lots of tank buses, which actually just destroys and shreds all of these hammer tanks. Uh, taking down the bullfrogs, okay, nice, but not nice when your opponent is, I mean, when your teammate is actually suffering. And tier has been reset, things are uh, growing actually bad for Obiak. He made a fantastic start, if you ask me. But unfortunately, can't keep up really well. And now this MCV is much more better condition if it's unpacked compared with the packed station because it can't automatically repair. And Obiak has some idle tester troopers. Are they idle? I'm not sure. I mean, they can just get around here. And okay, there's only one tester trooper there. And on top of that, one of these. <laughs> okay. One of these hammer tanks have also a cannon weapon has been sucked. So it also deals damage to anti-infantry. Now the base is under attack. No anti-air. And this one single VX can actually destroy everything here. Yep. No anti-air. And yeah, that's all. I don't even need to, I mean, send your hammer tanks over here. This army has been dealt with. Yeah, collectors are taken, that's nice, but you lost your army entirely. So, what's the point of this again? The MCV is just safe, realizing that this is all just a land army and nothing going to happen bad to me. And the terror drone of the OBX, this is perhaps the last unit that. Uh, okay. So, I think that's it, unfortunately. I mean. Now, if only they could keep up, they could win this. Like, OBX. I mean, this is a good map control, knowing what your opponent is doing, but Edwin just... How come he become the slowest as a playing Empire? That's a that's a mystery for me. I, can, I guess that's because of getting the stummy tanks. The first thing you do is just, whatever you do, just snipe the garage. You, you can't imagine how much they have benefited from the garage in this game. And that's a great, great advantage, just for like 500 credits. Uh, simple to say. And another simple thing to say, I have incredible amount of editing done to this video. <laughs> so, are we... So Edwin is just showing respect and playing, or just... What is he doing? Uh, Edwin, you don't have anti-air. Uh, 
I wonder how much cash did he get from Lobiek? I serve the Emperor. Okay, he has now entered. Okay, no, that's not his entire. Okay, at least we get to see some good fight, I guess. I mean, hopefully. I hope, like, Green Alert does not intervene by sending his own. <laughs> Alright, finally, we get to see some action. Sickles are jumping in, trying to take down all, as much as tank bosses they could, but now they're very clumped up. Unfortunately. How, what kind of Emperor's Rage used was that? I mean, half of the army was dead. But at least this construction area can be sniped very quickly. I mean, the amount of damage is insane. It just takes perhaps 5 or 10 seconds to take down this construction yard. Oh, great! The entire air has arrived. And now they're dead. And, well... I mean, still not that bad, but fighting under uh, repairs plus Crusher Crane, how, what kind of chances do you got? And even Leech, uh, this Leech Beam, right? Yeah. Like, I think they will uh, heal the damage that you do, outdo the damage you do. Yeah. And now Green Alert is just saying that, okay, just give up or I will wait, I don't care. Also, there's King Oni in this field. How much necessary is that? Did they make an agreement? I don't think so. Okay, bear power drop has been done, but I mean, there are so many Imperial Warriors out there, so... I don't think that will work. Yep, all the bears are destroyed, but I, th I don't think these tank passes can go out in time soon. Yeah, also VXs are here. Ah, uh, this a bunch of the army has been defeated. <laughs> but more bears are coming as well. Also, there's a king on it right there, and yeah. Oh, at least oh, come on! It should be able. Oh, what are you doing? Yeah, that's it. A bit good sport. I think they also won the previous hostile, 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 hostile game. Well, why you may ask is because <laughs> I'm going to answer it very shortly. Because there's one more game. Now we're on Shogun's Alley. And again, this is Green Alert. Playing as Green Empire again. On the meantime, we have Skip 571. The only difference is uh, he's starting with a barracks instead of a crusher crane. Uh, Edwin, again playing as an Empire. It's level 2 dojo course. And finally, we have Obiek, which is <laughs> going if I very identical build with Skip 571. And not going himself a nice crusher crane. So I wonder how is it going to be? Well, like I said, Obiek is by himself playing fantastic, but uh, coordination wise speaking, they're lacking way too short compared with the ski and green alert. It's like they have been practicing for this versus just two friends. I say, okay, let's play it. What else could happen? Well, that's that's what can happen. Now, garage is now being protected over here, but Dojo Court is approaching, so Ski should be careful. On the meantime, we see the same kind of a combat coming for and wrestling for this garage. It's very simple. I mean, whoever gets the hold of these neutral buildings will have eventually a huge advantage and can win it. Speaking of win, unfortunately Ski just perhaps he got distracted and lost control of all of these bears. On the meantime, his oil drink is now completely exposed. I wonder what's going to happen. A very nice set of like infantry now blocking the path over here, but these units can actually crush it immediately. 
Sickle, I guess, is going to be built on the meantime. Orbeg is now resting for the control uh, against the Green Alder for his own neutral buildings. We will see to it how is it going to happen. I mean, this Dojo Core has been deployed. It could be sold as well. Terra Drone gets destroyed. And unfortunately, Siki gets to lose his oil drag and also garage as well. So huge advantage goes for the Edwin and Obiak instead of Green Alert and Ski. The only solace is this, uh, Green Alert also captured the garage. So that's actually good. But oh, that's nice. A half HP already. I mean, that's great. And there is a good <laughs> amount of, for example, I will try to get myself a nice uh, tank buster and place it over here. That's more than you can even ask for. Uh, the conscripts are approaching with the multi cocktails. On the meantime, the tier 2 coming from the object. Unlike the Edwin, sticking for the tier 1 amount of units, Green Alder is now no, this yes, Green Alder is hovering with the Tango and trying to deal damage to these jumping sickles. But a bit of an effective trade. But if they could like take down these flag troopers, that would be lovely actually. That would be so good. I mean the amount of damage would be huge because flag troopers are expensive. Now three sickles dealing good amount of damage and they have healed the Did they make it? Oh. Oh come on! The second one! Okay, no. Only one flag trooper. Uh, Tsunami Tank is now approaching, but, well, I mean, he can always get a quick terror drone. Now, Green Alert is trying to do some harassment on the Obiak, but uh, there are repairs, so that's... I don't think that will be helpful or effective anytime soon. Like, this guy is trying... To, oh, that's a bit careless of Obiak. I wonder what he's the occupied with. Okay, he also cancelled this refinery. Did those lose the reactor? That's why? No. Uh, what happened? Okay, he's having some cash problems, I believe. I mean, thanks to none of the deflectors and repair garage repairs, this <laughs> don't kind of deal any kind of damage. Now Obiak is now dealing damage to Green Alice the Garage. That's actually a good move. Realizing that how powerful it is, he's now taking matters into his hand. And knowing that Edlin, ha Edlin has captured the garage, so he's feeling safe with it. And I think he's a bit pissed off at losing his collector. <laughs> Sickle's now jumping in, but just wall in, and I think it should be good enough. Black Troopers are already here, so. I don't think these sickles can do anything significant. Even sending these hammer tanks are a bit unnecessary, if you ask me. No repairs, so that should be very easy to handle with. And yeah, that is arrived for this sickle harassment. Green Alder is hovering the good amount of tangles over here. I think he really wants to take down this area, but it's not even built, so unnecessary. <laughs> Just in case there's a one Imperial warrior to take down the three of these terror drones. What the hell is this? What kind of wall placement is this? And why? Anyway, uh, since this was done by Skip 571, I think he has a good answer for this. Maybe he got bored and he wants to spend his money or give a message to his opponent, like, I don't know. Now, Green Alert wants to take a piece from the Edwin, but. Okay, nice. Obik is now trying to build a test of coil for his teammate, but well, mm, this tango has been stuck over here, so that's unfortunate. Dude, buddy, almost there. Yeah. Okay, let's see some action. Terror drones is now. They're in a status ray mode, so what's... Okay, no. Obik is actually doing a good juggling of these terror drones, so that's actually nice. The final dying... <laughs> I can't even speak. The final Obik's hammer tank drained its ally to <laughs> take the weapons out of it. Instead of living with a low HP. Ooh. 
that's heavy. Green Elvis sends a good amount of supply reinforcements. But now there's also Bullfrog, and we, you know what does this mean. But... Whoa. That was good coming from the Oviak. Unfortunately, the land army has been reset, and Green Elvis just successfully with three green, uh, striker reactions take down just a handful of tanks. That's very nice of him. Also, I have realized that the amount of ore nodes in this in this map is criminally low. So where does he going to? Do? Where is he going? Oh. Uh, I think you are way better off in <laughs> unpacked mode because there's garage and what the hell? Okay, I think that's why, or maybe he had to go. I'm unsure, but Obiak taps out for no reason. I mean, his condition was not that bad. And okay, maybe that's maybe that's why. I mean, they lost their own garage, but then lost <coughs> even worse. The ski has captured the garage, so Obiak get perhaps he got pissed. But anyway, Edwin also taps out as well. He throws a towel, realizing that of course you can't really beat two players at once in their normal conditions. Uh, well, an anticlimactic game. I really expected a little bit better, but I think there's a good reason for them. But anyway, GG for the green alert and skip 571 going on the finals. And better luck next time for the Orbeak and Edwin. So, let's see into it. All right, let's get into it. Now we are on the finals of this two versus two, and we finally get to pick a handful of teams that we had. This is Green Empire, this is Green Alert, and his trustworthy, wait. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is light blue, <laughs> wait, did he really lose the color? Wait. Am I... What? Am I saying this correctly? Did they ch change the teams or something? From the looks of it, yes. This will be interesting. So, <laughs> okay, this is Green Holler Green playing as a Green Empire. And this is XX Mastermind XX playing as Blue Allies. And this is Light Blue Empire. This is Zooth. And <laughs> it is... Uh, questionable trustworthy ally. This is game 571, and now he is again playing with the Crusher Crane. And we are on corporate warfare. And all I can say, all of these players here, could, I mean, did very well in this map. Maybe not the Zeus, and because after all, Wolverine was a bit, a bit of a suicidal player with his Tengus. But I really liked how the Mastermind actually carried the game. It was very smooth and steady. So we will see if this. It is going to persist in this game as well. On the meantime, uh, we see some mad plays coming right up. And unfortunately, from the looks of it, Zuth is losing so many tank masters over here. He was a bit prepared, I can easily say. I mean, Greenalder is not letting anything happen to his own garrison point. And, well, okay, one of them. Yeah, one of them just made it out. So that's actually nice of him. But now he is constantly losing his... I wonder how to do this, by the way. If there are any professional player out there could tell me. And this is the insane move. I'm blocking the exit point. Better than barracks. I'm better than bear or dog camping at the exit point. So let's see. Mastermind X is... What is he doing? Not very much. I mean, he's trying to make a foothold over here because it's a good expansion point. So, on the meantime, Ski 571 is madly expanding around, and this dog is just sitting around and preventing any walls to be built. But not long is now taken, I mean, taken care of, and walls are being, I'm sorry, garrisons are captured over here because he knows Green Alert can always go for sudden transport and tank busters, so that would be nice. 
on the meantime, Tengus are around. That's good. But also, there are Apollos and Vindicators around. So, Mastermind, I think he found his match and going to handle the... Yeah, the Zoof, maybe? Where are the Vindicators? Okay, so there are no Vindicators, I guess. Unfortunately, the dog get blasted with the Flak Cannons. Flak Sharapnels, perhaps. Now, it's nice. We see Ski 571 in the front lines, unlike the previous games where he was juggling around with, <laughs> with his MCB. Uh, I don't think that will work in short time. Now, Tengus have go in the jet mode and try to, I think, get in the target. But these, these Apollos could actually use a better positioning. I can easily say this. Or maybe just come around here and snipe one of the Tengu. A dogfight, are we going to see? Uh, guess no. <laughs> Siki just says, I don't care, I'm going to seize, I need money and expansion points, so yeah, have fun, you guys. And there's also <laughs> Defender VX, so I don't care. Have fun. And happy hour is already over because Green Alder is now harassing this uh, harvester already. I'm not the harvester, by the way, collector. Uh, the response. <laughs> okay, that's. That's a very nice. Now, Bar Dojo is now trying to make the engineer, but I think this will be captured very soon. Snipe it! Pay. Oh, that was odd. I think Green Alert could actually capture the airport, but he was. Ah, he. I mean, it takes one to know one. He knows his teammate. That is going to, for example, expand the sea, so he immediately get an Imperial Dox and uses Yaris to block it. On the meantime, Mastermind X is a bit unhinged. Uh, nothing is happening to him at all. And that's where the consistent way of building it like it is building refinery and then a power plant. Building a refinery and then a power plant. If only he could get the walls over here, that would be nice of him. But Oh, this is going to be good. So we're going to see some combat on the middle. After all, when you're playing allies, you can't resist getting multi gun a trace on the mid section of the map. And that's I, I find it quite lovely. The bullfrogs are making contact with the Apollo and just clipping the wings of one Apollo already. Command hub is being built. What is this real? Now, Tengus just landed on the mecha mode, and I think they will serve as a good body block, but also the Tengus of the <laughs> green, I'm no, sorry, Zoof also landed. And I think the advantage is in the hands of Green Island and a Mastermind, but if Mastermind could only be a little bit, let's say, courageous, uh, this comeback would be better. Ski captures the airport, a huge advantage coming for the Zooth. I can easily say this, and hammer tanks are being pumped up one by one. And there's also barracks, so bears could also serve in the ranks of the Soviet and Empire Composite Army. But man, all the hammer tanks are quite healthy, so you can't really... And also Desert of Delta Airstrike is being used. Mastermind X is time to scatter move. Ah, not that bad. Now, Tengus of the Green Island also arrived and hovering around. Was it <laughs> How come these bullfrogs... Okay, finally, they are attacking these Apollos, and Apollos are clipped already. But so much cash goes for nothing, for real. One Hammer Tang, I think. Oh, that's actually very nice of Ski. Not letting anything go for the waste. And, well, Mastermind is just... Expanding nicely over here, unlike the ski in the previous games, he is cut contact. So the cash goes for the mastermind, but mastermind should quickly convert this cash into units. Otherwise, I don't think Green Alert could hold out this much of units. I mean, on the land, they are very strong. Tengus and, of course, Tengus and, of course, Hammer Tanks. So Zuf is. Uh... Ew. I think Green Alert by just getting <laughs> this Imperial Dogs and Yari Minisov single-handedly controlling this game. Speaking of control, uh, I think he is soon to make a visit to the base of the Ski. He knows the layout already, so that's actually nice. Also, Mastermind is now sending some Dolphins, but... 
against the Yaris, I'm not sure. I mean, you, could, you should you should better get some Riptide. Now Tengus and Psycho Reacts are clashing with each other, but from the looks of it, the Victor is already the green alert. And now a refinery of the ski is now suffering damage. On the meantime, we see some front line aggression, but it's wasted for real. All of this infantry is now stumped by the bears, so that's a worthy amount of units go for nothing. I think at this point, or some way or another, this MCV can go for tier 3. Assault Destroy is en route, and no sight of any kind of wolf factories soon or close. So... Nah, uh, what? Again? Okay, i uh, pull this back. Cryshot has been wasted, unfortunately. Still, there's nothing that can do some body block to these hammer tanks or crushing these javelins. I wonder how much cash does this guy have, because I start to believe that he's not spending his cash. Also, Ready, sir. Zeus has 6k, uh, oh sorry, Ski has 6k and... Well, let's see here. what is he going to do, and what is he going to do? He's just making lots of buildings now. Tengus have arrived and tried for just sniping the striker reactors. Take suffered so much damage, but now they're in, and cash bounty has been used. So so much cash is going to be granted for this skip by seven one. Um, it's very really hard to track. I mean, colors are quite close, but all I can say, green Alert is victorious once again, and now Zoot is retreating back with what he has. Unfortunately, he is very stricken to two refinery plays, unlike, for example, the green alert going for the three. That's actually very nice of him. He has a little advantage. And Ski is quite desperate and really wants to expand. Says that I need the cash. Now, I really don't think this is necessary. Hammer tanks use the leech beam for the most of the time, so why would you need this, but anyway, he's going to die anyway. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Master Videx. Also, the disgusting amount of multi gunners. What the hell is this? What's happening here? Uh, so, Scout is getting destroyed. That's what is happening. Uh, still no tier. Th I think this is tier 3. Uh, Multi-gunner traits are now just suffering damage. All of these javelins are in locked mode, so I don't know. Can you toggle them back for real? And they are even locked in on the bear, so I, I don't even I don't even have what to say. Now Green Allen is just going back to base. I he says like if we're not going to tier three, I will go tier three and end this game. Like Buster just smoothly taking care of this harassment. So, okay, finally Master Mind X is also tier 3 and this aircraft carrier. We can start to see some aircraft carrier on this game. And somehow Ski is not building over here is so quite magical if you ask me. Unfortunately Zuf is running very low on units thanks to his not investing properly in time. Cryoblast has been used, but for real, it's not going to target anything. But Zoot is keep losing more Tengus for uh, absolutely nothing. So let's see. Also, these dolphins. Okay, finally. Is he going to do anything with dolphins? Ah, Master Mind X is just <laughs> revealing power mode, power hand. But I really don't think they are in a victorious position. I mean, maybe they are, because after all, uh, Zuth can't really produce anything. Uh, he is a bit stricken. Unlike the green alert, he is feeling safe. Uh, I don't even want to start about the Mastermind X. He's very, quite confident with his own position. But yeah, we will see. EMP missile has been used, but that's a very odd placement. Mm, what the? Okay, finally. Zoot is keep losing his more, unfortunately. 
uh, Tengus. So I think maybe one way or another, Green Hunter has predicted this is going to happen. So that's why he got his own super weapon. If so, that's nice. But how is he going to attack this aircraft carrier? So that's something. Also, we're in low power mode. The things should be good for the K57, but but uh okay finally we see battle lab. It's just so many javelins and multi -gunsters. like I think they have just got in the Discord or maybe Skype or I don't know. Maybe they know each other and or in just in the game they just said okay just get into mid and build some javelins and multi -gunsters and leave the rest to me. And maybe that's what he said. It's really. Now, aircraft carrier takes the L. Uh, and yeah, we, here we have the Sky Knight over here dropping some bombs. <laughs> and this is why I really love this game one way or another. And well, this just VX is a pick and targets easily. Zoot is now just sending one thing on jet mode, and this striker base is running for life. On the meantime, uh, Green Island is just. Traveling around with his jet mode Tengus. After all, he did what he wants to do, just block this path, and that's all. Ooh. <laughs> well. You can't really win everything, Green Alert. But he's actually relatively safe over here. So both of the players are now enjoying a good amount of like uh refineries. Except Yeah, exception goes for the zoo. And soon he will like he will run in depleted. Ooh, also two wave force artillery is over here. So technically speaking, this perimeter is now impassable. Uh, probably you will need some cure or anything like that. I mean, with, even with wave force, that's not going to happen. And even worse, I love this. Our Tengus are now on jet mode, so they will prevent this aircraft carrier to pick up some targets. Tank Passer Surprise used by the Zooth, and I think this can be effective if Muscle Mind X is not selling this power plant to get a free Peacekeeper. Alas, that's a bit too light. Now, two collectors are being sniped. And also, Bullfrog is joining the fray here. Ooh, two King Onis are here as well. And I think that was a very good, nice calculated hit. Now Tango's also joining the fray and ooh, some I mean Wave Force are to make short work of this war factory. Natasha is on the field and now Natasha is off the field. Uh Shoguns are also joining. And I wonder what happened over here. Ah, okay, it's dealt with already. So lights are turning out for unfortunately for our team. I mean Zoot has some Tangus, but again, this is a very fat powerful army. I don't know. If anything can be done against this the amount of multi gun is just rising every second, every 20 seconds, I can easily say. Now they have completely lost the power on the mid, and also now the swarm high, if it's going to matter anything, is now ready. So I wonder if they're going to use it. Now, aircraft carrier is also made the shores of the Skip 571. Also, Ray built this refinery. That's actually nice. <laughs> That's sad. Now, Skip 571 realizing that this cannot be done, and well. The first victory goes to Green Alert and Mastermind X. So, I wonder how did they arrange this tournament, but that was exciting. I was quite confused, like, hey, what the hell? But that's nice. I wonder if they're going to scramble the teams again. Let's see if it's going to happen. Well, as you guys can see, uh, the things have turned very south. Now, we have Zeus playing as a green empire with allied with... Uh, wait, no. Okay, Zeus is again with Skip 571. And Mastermind X, playing as red allies, is with blue, green... Uh, yes, blue, green others. <laughs> That's quite difficult. 
I mean, when you say you, your brain gives an error to you, like, okay, blue, green, alert, blue, green, green, blue. Anyway. So let's see how this happened. And I wonder what's the idea about us scrambling the teams or anything like that. But I wonder if we're going to see, for example, Zeus with green alert. Now, for the two times of playing together, the green alert and... Mastermind X. So if we see the opposite of it. Now, Engineer just making just in time for the oil lyrics. So unfortunately, these bears can't capture the target. Because of Mole, the good old engineer. <laughs> in a short workup, the Mastermind loses a dog. The bear. I think at this point the most of the combat will be around this garage. Maybe I don't know, maybe green out it. Again, he is capturing the hospital, so we guys know what does this mean. Sudden transport and uh, tank passer surprise. So, I mean not the tank passer surprise, by the way, just a handful of tank passers, but that's actually enough. Now this Dojo Core is very optimistic about reaching the base. Oh no, the bear is also coming. But now he is moving closer in the range of the garrison, and this bear is up for the suffering way too high amount of damage. Oh, in the meantime, we see the engineer this time couldn't make it alive with a tent. It just falls and crumbles. Now that's actually nice, Apollo and a Vindicator, so he can actually scout his opponent. But now Southern Transport is already on, soon to be on route, I guess. Oh, is it going to be used for defensive purposes? That's something else as well. Atengu is on the retreat. The only issue is now he is... I mean, the Zuth can have some troubles about the rising amount of the Polo and a Vindicator on top of his head. Like, you can drop the bombs here. Or maybe <laughs> wait the exit point, Tengu. Wait, what? Okay, the Bullfrogs have arrived. Ooh. He's just helping his teammate just in time. And the Fender Core is now being built. That's actually nice as well. I would rather ask a flat cannon. Really, flat cannon is cheaper and much more better. Ooh, and Bullfrog just takes the L. And Green Alert is just ah <laughs> taking down the garage as well. Really wants to reset any kind of advantage that they want to have. These conscripts unfortunately just suck the ground, so Terror Drone is on the move, but I don't think. Okay, mission is completed over here, so Green Alley can actually escort the uh, tank busters to, for example, maybe here, maybe here. We will see to it. The Tango Harassment coming to Green Alley by the Zoot, and actually, how is it go? Um, collector goes down, so that's actually nice. On the meantime, we see tank busters are trying to make in, but Ski is not letting this going to go very easily. And the Tengu gets crushed as well. So the moment that this sudden... Oh, no. <gasps> well, at least I think two, three tank busters are alive. So that's something. Do not... Oh, shouldn't have lost that. Now, Mastermind X, well, unfortunately, just staying idle with his own. Is it going to engage? Ooh. Well, I just take it down and go back. I, this is the power of the ally. Can't click this. Anyway, you guys also see it, how powerful the allies <laughs> Air Force is. Oh, this thing was very low HP. I think. Yeah. This guy really wants to take down any kind of Tengu that he is going to get. Also, these tank busters are just doing the god's work for real, and Ski is just blocking it. Ah, that's good. Using the camouflage and now turn into like a Soviet unit, and this conscript is just moving around freely. But unfortunately, this all collector. Oh, okay, just in time. Once again, we see some action coming right up. And Tengu's ever right. That's actually nice. And I mean, Zuth is now in the reach of his ally to help. That's actually great. And. Well, it's hasn't been dealt with, that's nice, but as speaking, good amount of damage has been given 
The garage has been confiscated and destroyed. Not confiscated, destroyed. And collector taken down. So both, uh, both yourself and your ally. Good amount of time. So that's... If you ask me, that's actually mission completed. And also this uh, IFP has some engineer. I wonder what kind of shenanigans Mastermind X is going to perform. If you ask me, just send it over and well, that should be good. For example, maybe hospital, maybe dry dock. I don't know the amount of unit composition you want to make. Mastermind X is now trying to be annoying to this <laughs> Zuth and his Tengus. So for now, the only advantage that the teams have is oil derricks and well, thanks to hospital of the green alert. So they can actually build an infantry army, it's and instead... Idea. Okay, sneaky, 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 what's going to happen? Uh-oh, war factory, war factory! Oh, god damn it. <laughs> just get it, go! Oh. But, let's just get... Ooh, this army is actually quite strong and... There's nothing to stop with this on the tracks. It's definitely usable force, by the way. Now, MCV is on the front lines, but the moment that it gets shrunk, it's going to be... Save everything! Yeah, that's what never happens, usually. As Skid tells out, I think we can easily say this was a rage quit. Now, it's only the Zeus, but I don't think it will like last very long. The good thing is... Uh, Green Alert has been removed from the game a bit, like, I don't see any kind of warfare. I wonder what happened to him, but I think Zeus just went in, like, Super Saiyan mode and destroyed him with his Tengus. So, I wonder if we can match against, uh, like, this Guardian, a Tier 2 army, let's say. Lots of uh, Guardian tanks and Cryocopters, so let's see how's it going to happen. I really want to know if. Make a tango. Let's go. Like what? Ah, engineer place. <laughs> the entire army of the suit is just following this <laughs> sudden transport. Also, really making you realize that how powerful the terror drone and the cryocopters are. The trouble with the Empire is that they don't have a really good support unit. And that's how important also it is. Alright, is it going to happen? Please, no. <gasps> oh! <laughs> how did you get distracted so badly letting that engineer get into you? I captured the MCV and... Um, You'll pay! Yeah, sure. Unbelievable game. For real. Oh, well, that was interesting. So, let's see. So right now we are having some interesting situation over here for real. Green Alert is not playing as a random and he is with Ski 571. And from the random... Wait, let me double check. No, he's not with Ski 571. Who is he with? In the pool party, either with Mastermind or Zeus. I'm losing track of this. <laughs> for real. Now, from the looks of it, he is with Mastermind X. But this is Skip 571 allied with Blue Empire. This is Zuth, and this must be Green Alert getting Empire from the random and allied with Mastermind X. Let me double check that one. Alright, I'm correct this way. So let's see how is this is going to happen. So most of the time I really don't like the pool party because all we see is some tier 3 navy over here camping there and just completely obliterating your opponent. 
Uh, not really bad. I mean, these legs should not able to... Uh, how to say... Have some, like, very fat navy and crew ships and stuff. But, I mean, this is really alert and you can always build some units and... A very good start coming from the green alert. Unfortunately, the advances of the Zeus has been nullified a bit. <laughs> like these, these dojo cores are blocking each other. Alright, that's been sold, so that's actually nice and and somehow, Green Alert is actually not in a good shape. I mean, Zooth, is this really? Yeah, this is Zooth, and like he's now going on Super Saiyan mode for real. And also, you could actually explode this post drone to get rid of the dojo, perhaps. So, I would. <laughs> okay. Imperial Warrior just alive. So many conscripts, not enough bears. So I don't think this Soviet army could do anything and just going around here would make things worse because, I mean, Soviet infantry is not very good against Empire. So we will see to it how is it going to work for this time. But again... Ah, yeah. uh, second, guys. Where were we? Yep. In the middle of combat. So once again, now Air Force has been built and <laughs> targeted the Zoot immediately. And now Oil Derrick is now being dealt with slowly. So unfortunately soon Green Alert will stripped. The Air... Oil Derrick, yes it is. Too bad these conscripts are turning to his means meets very soon enough. They could be much more useful against these Peacekeepers and like this a light base. If only he got, I mean, if only Ski got some bears, you could actually pack a punch over here and get these garrisons and they'll start to deal some damage. Even getting here could work. Uh, we will see to it. Now his mining operations are a bit halted thanks to these Tengus. So some Tengu juggling over here, but really not working in favor of the green alert. Losing two Tengus for nothing. On the meantime, Zooth having four of the Tengu Peacekeepers are now dealing good amount of damage to Oil Derek. And are we going to see Cash Bounty anytime soon? The third refinery is already being built, so that's nice from both of the top players. But on the bottom players, we can't see any kind of expansions. They're actually, how to say, strangling each other's throat. Oh, the poles are right. I uh, think. Simultaneous destruction, that's actually very cool. And this indicator is just trying to find a target. And there, there's a target, so that's, that could work. Dojo is now being deployed. Are we going to... S oh, no, wait a second. I think we all know what is this going to mean. Now, start to get reactor and power Tesla coil walls. <laughs> is this tier 2? I think... Ronda looks a bit... Okay, he's getting tier 2. So if he gets tier 2, he may have some chances to survive. But the reactor has been built. So alas, for this base, I can say. I wonder if Ski has a good amount of cash with himself. Also, Zoot is now camping on top of the Mastermind Access Refinery. So that's actually nice. Some amount of damage is going to be dealt. Disgusting placement of the Nutrigan threat once again. Like, you can place just one over here, then that will be more than enough. Why do you get two of them? That's a waste of cash for real. Uh, okay, so VX is it right? So we're we going to see a flat cannon soon enough. Come on, at this deal some damage to maybe the generator. Okay, he really still wants to do something with it. <gasps> oh, okay, that's that's wasted. That's very wasted. Green has just moved the collector back and all of these Tesla coil, Dojo core reactors are now for nothing. Uh, but now Tengus. Okay, these are the Tengus of the Green Alert, so that's nice. Tesla coil is being built, but also is getting to be destroyed very soon. Ski has some, some bullfrogs, but what's, what are they going to serve to? I don't know. 
Apollo's have arrived. Also, the Tengus are now engaging, but I think they should definitely move around here. If they really want to get in engagement, at least. Uh, I mean, all of our players are playing with a very bright colors and quite hard to determine what is going to happen. But all I can say, Green Allard is now recovering from this. And Ski, unfortunately, not using his and uh, bullfrogs in the max efficiency. That's all I can say. Now, these hammer tanks could actually, for example, oh, oh one bullf Apollo, two Apollo, and all of the Apollos are now completely destroyed. So that should give some relief to Zuth. On the meantime, MC oh, MCV is now caught. So no war factory, no nothing else. Go infected. What? But this is actually quite large. So could actually get around there. But from the looks of it, refinery is soon to be destroyed. Now, Mastermind X is not has to handle everything by himself from the looks of it. And I wonder if he's going to do it. Because I believe that's not going to happen. Fact troopers. Just <laughs> I'm gonna look at this sheer amount of it. Okay, Tengu just saved this MCV from the death. I wonder how much cash does he have. Uh, even if he runs it, uh, he can't do anything. He doesn't have means of cash or any kind of income to get himself some refinery or anything. Mm. Oof. I mean, this hammer tank just nailed. Just nailed it. And zap there it goes. <laughs> Rip died. So somehow the green alert has a one final tango, I guess, and it's running around. Mastermind X is now dealing, doing a good amount of harassment to the Ski 571. And a bolt of the Ski 571 to not even enclosing this space. I mean, Riptides can always come here with engineers and uh, capture the building. Now he wants to also deal some damage to Mastermind's this third expansion point. Three tangos. That's all we have here. Yeah, point defense rounds are still online, so that's nice. Mastermind X is continuing to lose more income. Also, this goes for the oil there this time. <laughs> I mean, Green Alert is now still in the game, placing one instant generator. And uh, Skiff 571 is now building his own base rem on the remnants of the Green Alert base. This. Assault Destroyer took the two collectors by itself. Well, that's great for him, actually. Insane value. And for some reason, this guy really gets to have lots of infantry. I mean, he loves to do Assault destroy and Infantry combo. But well, this is Soviets. Uh, you can't really... I have to say, just... They will just probably always send, like, bears in it, so... That's not going to make your army very effective, as you could possibly imagine to. Now, Green Alert is not trying to be more... Guys, please replace your walls. I mean, there is no excuse on this. I mean, if you're playing allies, that I can understand. Because, I mean, there's a building radius restrictions and stuff. But if you're playing the Empire, or even Soviets, then just place your walls. And that, that cannot be that hard. And I'm sh that cannot be expensive as well. Now, Skip 571 trying to approach the on the main base of the Mastermind X. Now, he's on tier 2 and getting some Guardian tanks. Is this the best response he can give? Maybe against Skip 571. I'm sorry. Maybe against uh, Zuth, but not against Skip 571. I can easily say this. Now, knowing that what can, for example, Green Island is capable of. Okay, Green Island also uh, tapped out from the game. And now they, <coughs> the MCV is under attack and soon to be taken down, I believe. Okay, that's actually quite a nice of an army, Guardian tank and Javelins, but again, it's very weak against the Soviet bears, so I don't know. Now, MCV has been taken down, so there is nothing left from the Empire ally of the Mastermind X. Now, MCV says, okay, screw this, I'm going in and... Ooh, some good timing of the scatter move, but now MCV takes the L. I think this army just leaping onto it can take it down. I mean, a, that would be a good trade. After all, it, Mastermind X is just for, unfortunately, three refineries. On the meantime, Zuth is 
So why not getting this one, but getting this one? I mean, but already four and getting the fifth refinery. So that's great. Cryoblast has been wasted, unfortunately. Only even the friendly fire, javelins get frozen. And with just three guardian things, I don't think you can deal much of the damage you expect to deal. On the meantime, skiff 571, what kind of wonky play is this? Like two refineries over here, third here, fourth here, but not even building the fifth on his own base. And like all of these guardian things are now like springs are falling apart and gas destroyed. Master Minex taps out. And well, <laughs> what can I say? And in an ironic fashion, like for example, when you see Green Alert in the game, you always expect, okay, this is Green Alert, so he's going to win. Well, maybe he's not. That's not how the Red Alert 3 works. That's also why I personally like the Red Alert 3 as well. Like, if you mess up one way or another, well, then in this case, you may put yourself in a point of no return and probably lose the game. Right, let's see to it. So I am missing again. This is so far so good. The most problematic game, I mean series, that I am going to even see to it. Now we are on the map Honor Bound. So how are the teams like? Yeah, okay, same as ever. Now Skiffs 571 is with the Mastermind X. And in the meantime, we have... Wait. <gasps> okay, at least we get to see the Green Alert is playing as the Soviet. So that's actually nice. He's allied with Zuth this time. Okay, this is Zuth, right, by the way. Let me double check. Yep, this is Zuth. So let's see how is this going to happen. I'm quite excited because, well, Green Alert is playing Soviets. He's going for a crane start, so he is cooking something. Unlike the Skip 571, somehow he's not going for crane start. I can't understand. But anyway, let's get to see to it. Now, Honorbound, well, this is the funky map that you get to see in you know, early commander challenges in Red Alert 3 Yuriko game. Uh, if I remember correctly, the old Japanese commander and young Japanese commander just go and send some imperial warriors over here they rarely attack each other and then you just camp some engineers around issue command at the same time and then you just bomb win the game but anyway let's see how this is going to happen here in this game also by placing such wonky walls I think Master Minex wants to lock himself here on the safety of the island for himself also, just destroy it. Okay, yeah, of course, it can be destroyed. So, just destroys this village. Bridge, not the village. Bridge, and for a good amount of time, you can block away the reinforcements. A wall factory in this map, well, I would definitely go for, I mean, air. A very nice into it. Now, Super Reactor and Barracks is now pumping out some infantry. I mean, Green Alert is wasting no time going for the third refinery immediately. Also, there's one Flag Trooper, but is this going to be like a Flag Drop with the Tomb Blades? I am unsure. Terror Drone is already here, but... Is it going to do anything? Okay, no, it's not going to do anything. And all right, wall factory is also being built as well. On the meantime, sickles are now approaching. And as allies as things can get, this guy just really camps with the polo and the vindicator. Oh, we have something new. They need to be taught a lesson. Right, taking down the Vindicator is actually quite a nice move, but now maybe running a bit around could be better. Unfortunately, uh, this Defender VX only protects the Refinery Core, but now reinforcements have arrived, and that's actually very nice. Very mindful of... Very mindful of the Skip 571 for real. Also, when did he when did he get really the, this third refinery? That's actually a big game, if you ask me. 
Now MCB moving on the front lines and up to steal the refinery, I'm um, sorry, or mine of the green alert. They are no friends of mine. Is it okay? This is not on a force fire. Whoa! From the hill, this bullfrog get captured by the status ray. But that doesn't really matter. They're actually sharing it well. But for, well, honestly, saying this cryo trick didn't really work. So I think they should better off. Focusing on maybe the skip 571, but the issue is well, he has only two Apollo. What else he can do with them? The other issue is now they're locating the resource, I mean, they are sharing the resources. And the best part is, for example, the Zuth can actually send a refinery core over here and here if he likes to. Okay. Happy hour is over. Now this refinery has been spotted. So let's see how is this going to unfold. Honestly, so being, this is like maybe a in type of a one versus two. If he is on the ground, but the harassment is now being done to, by Zeus, the green alert. Actually, it's turning out effective. I mean, three of the collectors are not working. But there's only one collector is working at this point. And unfortunately, Green Alert is forced to turn back. And this Flag Trooper <laughs> cannot... I mean, how come he's not attacking here? I think at this point he should be able to gather a good amount of... Oh, wait, what's that? Ah, please just don't tell me that you're going to send this all around here. Right, okay, he... Is he going to really do that? Conscript uh, training finished! You cannot... What? What's happening here? Ah, okay, so this is taken by... <laughs> he said... He says, move around there, these are mine, I need them. Okay, Green Alert is actually trying to engage on the ground, and unfortunately, the Mastermind X, his MCV, gets infected. That, that, that's eventually going to happen. So, ooh. That's, that's insane. This is a surprise of suffering, but these conscripts could actually, if only they are attacking the correct target, that would be much more better. Now, you could actually move around there and then just go in the jet mode. String race. Fine, but. Alright, it's happening. He's just scoring all over here. That's so much of Tesla troopers, honestly speaking. Yeah, sure, they are effective against Soviets, but you're not only playing against the Soviets here, there's also allies. And satellite drop has been used on... Wait, what? Now, from the... <laughs> it says, you're the one who just sent me a cryocopter, right? It says, and now taking down the Vindicator. Starting to go for a harassment run, and it's going to be effective, I guess. Is this MCV going to make it? No, it's not going to make it. Wait. Oh lord. He has no production. No... No mecha... Um, no, what a mecha bay? No armor facility, no barracks, no naval yard. Unbelievable. <laughs> Just get yourself a barracks and heal yourself for real. But the issue is... Uh, what's happening in this main base, by the way? Okay, that's a true... What? 
Did you really just move your own CV all around here and build yourself a testicle? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, this is sometimes why I really love this game. It can always get annoying as it could get. Uh, hooray, MCV now repaired. And Green Alert should be like living in cash. Now Zul is once again engaging on this combat and now attacking the Green Alert. But... It's hard to understand. Like, for example, why didn't he contest over here and build it over here? Instead, he just get to here. Can't really understand. Maybe he doesn't want any kind of distraction or harassment. Doesn't want to protect it or bother with it. Because after all, if you can hide it well, then that is actually much more better. Now, flag troopers are now dropping magnetic mines and vindicators are now looking for a new airfield to land in. These peacekeepers are actually dealing a good amount of damage, but bombs are living in this condition. Now, there's so many tangos are running to A to do skip 571, but Mastermind X is having some hard time. Really hard time, I have to say. Like, for example, this attack of like these Yaris are not that bad, but the damage has been given. So this is this is what we get. Conscripts. Now Green Alert is trying to make himself hold, but that's actually quite a good use of the Emperor's Rage. And was it necessary? No, not really, but it was as long as it targets, for example, you and Ally. That's actually nice. Now, now two blades are I saw some two blades, but now they're dead, so unfortunate. And Green Alert realizing that this kind of move on and tapping the outer game. So let's see how the things have ended because I really don't know. And from the looks of it, I can't know by watching it because I can't be of the quote and the last game. So let's see how the things were. Oops, wrong. Hmm, from the looks of it, I also see four games. I oh, know, okay, sorry. <laughs> mm, so I think Green Alice team made cons made some victories. So wait a second. So if we get on the first game first. So the first game, I think Green Alert win this one. In this case, this should be the Green Alert team. Okay, so yes. So fourth game, the fourth game was won by the other team, the Skip Five Seven One team. But the remaining the <coughs> remaining games were actually won by the Green Alert team. So from the looks of it, <laughs> this will be very. Very odd way to see so GG for the green out. <laughs> I can't even watch it, but anyway. So this was a little bit let down, but I will still upload it anyways. I will do some edits because uh a while I have to answer the phone. I couldn't get back to it. Anyway, uh, I hope I could provide some enjoyment for you guys as well. I tried to enjoy as much as I could, and this was a very again one of the one of the event that has the most problems in it, like crashing replays, replays I can't view or even see, the messed up order and stuff. But anyway, um, eventually it was nice actually. Some some good games and some different format is always welcomed. 
uh, novelty effect always works for it. So if you guys have liked it, feel free to leave a like or comment. Also consider subscribing. That also helps me a lot. And I'm still into the subscriber replays that you have got, you guys have sent to me. So just a little bit more time, please. On the meantime, uh, take care and see you soon, guys, with another good event. Hopefully with no crashing replays. And of course, <laughs> replays that I can view to it. Until then, take care.